Hello everybody and welcome to the Heritage. Gand here with Bestie. Besties for life. Besties for life. I'm going to apologise now. If I cough, if I snuffle, if I sound like I've got a peg on my nose, it's because I'm, I'm so ill. I'm like, it's not good. I'm We've basically a dead man. If I can't get sympathy here, where can I get it? I mean, my wife certainly isn't going to give me any sympathy whatsoever. Are you getting physically abused at home? Essentially, this is my online cry for help right now. Luckily, there's five viewers, and I'm pretty sure <laughs> five of them are getting pretend you stop, and none of them are going to care. <laughs> Everyone's on the phone now. Um, yeah, please, there's a man online who's, who's being abused. Good gang, send help. <laughs> so, once you've finished trying to send help to Gam, then you might want to focus on the game and you realise that we're looking at LFC Dota versus Southampton. This is the best of three and it is the first round of the Heritage. I think so it's worth mentioning we got some former champs on the go though. We have indeed. LFC were the winners of our previous tournament and I believe that at least three of them playing on their Razor keyboards that they won in the last round. Some familiar faces with uh, Bean who has renamed himself to 3k player, just to confuse me, who was the Darmy Po player from last time, and Grey Fluffy Bear, sometimes known as Ethan, who uh, built Sanjin Yasha. And it would appear that Southampton have been doing their research because they have banned Meepo. I'm a little worried that that Razor keyboard is just going to lead an already yeah, strong yeah, team yeah. into an easy victory. Wow. I mean... <laughs> <laughs> the fact already, I mean... You know it's bad when like the professionalism is so bad that when you plug, I have to stop and congratulate you. Radiant, <laughs> That's how bad we are. <laughs> <laughs> like, we can't that plug. Yeah, I mean, you know what? Like straight away though, I wanted to to bring up my usual of um, aesthetics. Both teams have logos. It's going to be hard. I mean, again, LSE have the slightly better logo. I don't know why I think that. Yeah, but okay, so not only <laughs> on the razor, you're also plugging the fact that you did the, the graphic design. <laughs> I hear Huawei actually make really good phones. I mean, have you heard that before? Mm, the Honor 7 is pretty decent. I mean, it's got good specs. It looks minimalist. It's 5.2 inches, which is absolutely brilliant for watching Twitch casts. If like you wanted to watch maybe the Heritage or uh, I don't know some other than things on there. You know, the, unfortunately, we're not on all the time. I mean. Surely not. It is an eight megapixel front facing. You know what the horrible thing is? This is all that's committed to memory. <laughs> really? Because I mean, you're more prepared than I am. I'm impressed to be honest. Massive phone you geek. I'm scared. Be scared. I'm coming. Okay, so I mean, the draft's almost finished. <laughs> we've, all we've done so far is plug Gam's, uh, Gam's various sponsors. Indeed. Right. Okay. Let, let, let's do this. Let's do this. Analysis. I mean, I did briefly mention that there was a Meepo ban. Yeah, I mean, I that, that really is research-based, isn't it? Because, like, that is just not a not a <laughs> ban that happens. I mean, the, the Doom, bin, blah, Doom ban, that's pretty standard. But, to go. Mm. Apparently, rumour on the street is that I'm a bit quiet. Oh, let's turn you up, then. Sorry, everyone. I'm not going to touch out. Change volume. More decibels. Whoosh. Okay, I hope I'm scary loud now. Okay, so <laughs> Right. Jesus. Okay, so, so far, some interesting stuff going down. Mm. The first pick I'm dying, perhaps the uh, the most unusual, I mean the Wyvern Tusk, pretty expected. Um, yeah, I guess the undying implies that we are going to see some aggression coming out from Southampton, which is uh, always fun, but going aggressive into what is potentially a Wyvern lane is sometimes not the dream, but you know, if the team stays alive long enough, that's always scary. In yeah. Lane, it's looking like we're going to have the uh, the Queen versus Shadow Fiend matchup, which is always a fun one. But I was thinking that, but you can send Quap off. I mean, yeah, Willie Dodge. If it is Quap versus Shadow Fiend, who are you fancying? Um, I mean, as 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 the game goes on into sort of like the sort of five to ten minute mark, he gets to that point where Shadow Fiend's got level five. He's got the three levels in raise, and he's basically just going to. Casually kill each wave, then mm. wander off to a jungle. But in the uh, in the first few levels, Queen's got the chance to hopefully get a little bit ahead and maybe slow down the Shadow Fiend. But uh, we will see. 
obviously they're, I don't know, they're generally pretty different heroes with Queen having a bit more early ganking potential, but nowadays Queen just goes off to the jungle as well because yeah. that's I mean, just what mid heroes do, they just carry number two. <laughs> yeah, I mean looking at the, uh, the the lineup so far, I mean there's not a lot of room for Quap to gank. Yeah, like, I mean, Undying's tanky. Yeah, other than AA though, so you know, I suppose this, those two non existent heroes are pretty difficult to gank as well. Yeah, <laughs> you'll <a little> struggle <laughs> if they don't exist. <laughs> Right. Yeah, I mean, same for Shadow Fiend. I mean, Bane can be a problem to gank Tusk and Winter Wyvern. What do you do there? Mm, Although that yeah. Bane pickup is strange. Who who do you reckon we're going to see on off lane? Solo Tusk? Yeah, I mean, Solo Tusk is a fairly standard off lane, but maybe we're going to see some crazy Bane, Barana, Madness, and a farming Tusk. I mean, we can dream of some, some crazy things. I, I would enjoy that, but... I, at the same might time. be coming in really overconfident, you never know. They have won a previous tournament. We don't know too much about Southampton, whereas we know our LSE are certainly pretty uh, pretty reasonable team. But yeah, it's we'll worth see how things develop. It's worth mentioning as well that LSE are the only is it LSE the only ones so far that have played that haven't been knocked out yet because they haven't played, but you know. The other two from the last LAN, they've already been kicked out. And then we've got uh, UCL on Thursday. So far, every London Uni has failed. Apparently, it's <laughs> still too low. Oh, come on. Talk, shout. I don't want to shout. Right, okay, let's see. I blame production. Well, we've seen a Wraith King pick. I mean, should I analyse it? Can people even hear me? Who knows? So that definitely implies that we're going to see an offlane here. Hopefully, the, the Wraith King on dying aggro scariness. Let's try this by it. turning me down a bit. Turning you down, me up. It's all very technical. But, um, yes. Yes, yes, yes. So, final pick coming out now for LSE. They've banned Dazzle. They don't want to have to deal with any more armor manipulation with the Shadow Fiend on the go. Um, let's see. What are we going to see for their final pick? They, I mean, I assume that they need a carry. Probably a pretty hard carry unless they're going to go really early here. Maybe something, a PL could be quite interesting for the mana burn on the Wraith Knight King. Hopefully we're a bit more in sync now with volume. There is the PL bar. I mean, <laughs> you called it. It's tough being this good camp. I should probably work as like an analyst or something, I don't know. Hashtag send, you, uh, send Hashtag requests for CVs. Fanatic, please. <laughs> <sighs> Okay, so final pick for Southampton, and what are we looking for here? We're looking for Off potentially lane. something which can solo safe lane for them, oh, yeah. so I think that could be an aggro try there. A pretty scary aggro try if they do do that. So, maybe something that can solo top against Tusk. Such as... Timbersaw could be quite interesting. Timber's pretty good versus PL. Obviously the mana burn's not the dream, but you do have great, uh, great nukes to kill all the illusions. Sorry about the, the quiet time there. Wife nearly sliced some off on some uh, scissors. She chooses the best time to do this. She's just done what? She's coming to <laughs> try to she's, stab you with some like, scissors. She's like, st no. <laughs> Not quite. She came in and she's already like, warned the viewers about <laughs> physical abuse. Yeah, she's now like cutting herself and calling the police like preemptively. Oh my god. Getting some defense in there. No, she's uh, like, please, I need plaster. Don't get out of the room. If anyone that does live in the uh, Southport area, then. Try and get to Gan's house. Whoa! Thing. Just straight up giving me a address. I'll give him the postcode. I don't you? I mean, you did send it to me the other day, right? I am, so I'm, I'm aiming to go full abuse on these uh, Sasha Yang's building dudes. Nice. <laughs> but, <you know. gasps> and the final pick, Night Stalker. So that could potentially be a solo Night Stalker lane. It's either that or it's going to be an off lane undying, which I don't think is quite as fun. But hmm. we will soon find out. We will soon find out. So the what do you think? Heroes? What do you think with a Night Stalker against that? I mean, we said that. You know, Tusk, Wyvern, and Bane aren't particularly gankable. Night Stalker well, wants the ganks. The silence on Night Stalker is really good against Quain. Quain? Really good against Queen. Really good against Tusk. And it's really good against Wyvern. And Bane. To be honest, <laughs> it's good against every single hero on that team. Mm -hmm. Stops the juxtapose, is it? What for a pick. What a pick. Mm. Southampton going through. <laughs> How long does this screen last, by the way? What is this about? Well, it lasts up to a minute. Unless the players pick their heroes, but clearly Shadow Fiend's like, do I want to play Shadow Fiend? Yeah, Shall I pick Night Stalker? Or maybe they're doing a bit of last minute things like, oh, how are we going to do our lane? So we're going to go aggro try? We it's not. Like mind games. 
I think they should. It's Maybe no fun. one wanted to play Night Stalker. Oh, you play Night Stalker. Oh, I'm driving this crazy thing, aren't I? You are indeed. Oh, no. You are Captain Camera today. Okay, so... What team would you enjoy introducing ready. this evening? Oh, and there's the pause by Southampton. Luckily, there's no, like, super crazy names today. There's a, let's, let's have a little... Okay, well, we, while we've got this pause, maybe this is the perfect opportunity to introduce the teams. I totally, um, I'm doing Al. You're doing Al? <laughs> yes, okay. I'm doing Al. Sometimes known as Southampton. <laughs> no, Al. Oh, God. Okay, sorry for the language there, viewers. I mean, we'll hmm? find Alex. No prize for him. Oh, okay. didn't even see that. Okay. Cover it with your hand, I'm pretty sure that's how <laughs> videoing works. Google Glass streaming. Let's do this. Let's get it on. Um, if anyone wants to comment on the old uh, mic situation, oh, better, better, okay. They just want me quiet, that's it, they want to hear your delicate tones, that's the problem. Yeah, subtle, subtle and delicate, that's mm -hmm. what I aim for. Pleasing to the ear. Oh, there's some big uh, arcanas going on on the Shadow Fiend there. Oh, there is, he looks very pretty. We've also got Red Paul the Courier out. Are we going to introduce the players here, or are we just going to talk about how pretty people are? <laughs> I mean, this is how I judge it, games. I mean, I've not checked out the other team yet, but uh, we'll just... Okay, okay. On Southampton, we have Jin on the Ancient Apparition. Uemar. Uemar on the Undying. Muzzard on the uh, Wraith King there. Solo on Shadow Fiend. And Night Stalker is played by Uemar. You already did Uemar again. Yeah, I know I did. That's the crazy thing. Wait, what? Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's all too much. <laughs> I can't take it anymore. That's that's not on. Do you think he's got two computers and he's playing one hand on each? We'll be able to judge that soon, I suppose. Do you want to uh, do the Depending other team? how bad they are. Yeah, sure. Okay, so, on uh, on Tusk, we have Road to Low Pro. I believe the last time he was called... Road to 3K. Mm, yes, last time he was called Road to 3K, he was the, uh, the really questionable plays guy, doing some dodgy smokes, some dodgy wards. So, look out for us trying to flame him as much as possible, because frankly, he deserves it. Mm -hmm. On, uh, on Wyvern, we have Shiva Chi, who I believe played Rubik in the finals last time. Pretty solid, pretty solid. Alex, who was too cool to make the finals of the last tournament, is playing Queen of Pain. Sometimes known as ex Ol Iptic. Really annoying. Uh, yeah, hang on, have I got the names of the players wrong? 3k player is also Bane. Mm. 30 seconds mm. to go. Okay. Bane, 3k player, and finally, on Phantom Lancer, we have Grey Fluffy Bear, who, right. uh, who was the Sanjay Yasha Phantom Assassin from last time, which I'm sure everyone can remember, mm -hmm. because uh, I mean, that was a, a big day in the Dota community. There's a lot of pings and going on, I'm but this wrap around. Right now. I don't know what your thoughts are, but he is off on an adventure that could lead to his horrible demise. I think it's GG. Oh, this is a big snowball. The game is on. Do we have enough nuke damage? Yeah. Oh, he's oh, oh. There it is, the uh, first blood for Hennessy. Great start for them. And uh, yeah, Queen gets a bounty on him. And uh, Shadowfiend gets a bounty, so mid's going to be nice and even. But Now we can the, see uh, these lanes. We've got PL going up onto the hard lane. Indeed. So, where I said that uh, Southampton would be doing an aggro try, I was completely wrong. And in fact, they are sending Night Stalker solo bottom. And are we seeing dual lanes mid? Surely not. It looks like we might be getting both of these on the dual lanes. I think they might just be teasing each other mid. And they're gonna head off soon. Although the um having the ancient apparition there to help uh the shadow feet and get those first few last hits can be really nice with the souls. This is a bit of a risky behind. play from Bane. I mean And he's harassing. Oh well, he's just angry. I'm sure he is angry. <laughs> I mean, he shouldn't be too angry. He's already got first blood. I mean, what more do you want from a game? Natasha! <laughs> Great impressions. <laughs> and a nice bit of de-warding there from UMR exclamation mark, who has de-warded his easy camp, and I believe not blocked it. I think that's just outside of where it is. But we will see. In the bottom lane, this should be a vaguely even matchup. Tusk maybe has a slight advantage until night time, but... Uh, Oh, some good, uh, good harass going on. Both of them should be getting reasonable XP down there. <laughs> and fun. Where do we think the most fun lane to watch is going to be? I mean, I'd like to say mid. Bane is just like, nah, this is my side of the map now. Yeah, Bane is getting super aggressive. I think we're going to be seeing kills probably mid or top. 
I mean, Alex is taking a lot of damage here. He's gonna have to blink away and use his salvo, I assume. But no, he's, he reckons he's fine. Okay, he's not fine, he's not fine. He's salved away. And he's he's also... The Bane, the whole... This mid lane situation is madness, but Bane has successfully secured a regen rune. So and he's baited them away. Yeah, you know, those last hits being missed there. So far, Bane, pretty impressive plays, I would have to say. Indeed. He's certainly annoyed Southampton's mid players. Especially and he's now gone top. Is he going to be able to make anything happen here? Moz had taken a lot of harass. PL's just busy farming. I think he should have gone a bit more hard. And this is going to be a dead Rave King. Can they get anything else, is the question. I'm going to say no. No. Yeah, he's got a lot of health. 900 health. Level 2. Number 1. I think one. that uh, Undying might be asking himself, why have I not got Tombstone right now? Because that probably would have given Rave King a bit of a chance, maybe? Because it would have slowed them down. They would have had to... It would have been more risky to die in, but... Such is hindsight. Yeah, I mean, I think Bane was doing a lot of work. When I checked the last six while he was there, it was 11 to the Co-op and 6 to the Shadow Fiend. But, I mean, yeah. Co-op is still getting all the denies. Yeah, 40 to 9. Well. Was, as we said, though, Queen does have the, the advantage in my lane early on, but as soon as Shadow Fiend gets the levels up and raise, it just becomes... It's not even a balanced lane, it's just a joke. Oh, we've got a rotation here. They've just the, abandoned yeah. top lane, seemingly. Yep, Bane's come back for a bit more harass. Oh, kill top. Yeah, How is that this, happening? This is a dead undog. And they're going to get a bonus of 75 gold from the tombstone, which is often described as delicious in certain circles. Indeed. Oh, and... Oh, there was, looked like there could be a kill mid. He's very low on that shadow feed. Well, yeah. he's dead. Alex goes in and gets the kill. I think Bane might be about to get frozen, though. He might be going down there. One more right click. Ooh, just he doesn't have it. The boots that he bought at level 1 really pay off there, to be honest. I and have to say, is... mid is doing a lot of work right now. I mean, top's doing pretty well, but you need to keep a lid on that Shadow Fiend, and they're really doing it. They really are. Alex, who uh, did was missing in action for the last game, proving that um, maybe he does deserve to be on the team after all. See the Even if again? some people were saying he can only play Zeus. <laughs> Ult Which, heroes honest, only. Who can't play Zeus, you know? Not really a high skill hero, is it? I heard that Quap wasn't even that bad nowadays. Oh, Quop has blinked onto potentially a double damage Night Stalker. This could be very scary. Let's hope he doesn't waste the silence. Oh. And he doesn't. End of the well, Quop. I think we just 473 did the, uh, gold for that. We just Already. did the world famous casters jinx where we were like, Quop's doing really well. And then, uh, we mixed in some BM yeah, to try and um, mix it up. Radiant's a bit. bottom tower ain't a pretty sight right Ooh, now. Oh, and Night Stalker might be coming in for a bonus kill here on oh. the Bane, the other player who we said is doing well. And so, he is going to be dead, and that is some delicious oh, souls for Nice Orbit. Thought he'd got away with it then, but that rain's coming in. Oh, oh god, I think Alex is going to be pretty sad with himself, because I think if he just did one right click on uh, Shadow Fiend, then it would have been a dead Shadow Fiend. Yeah. But that is kind of the uh, annoying thing about Shadow Fiend. He's gone from being really far behind <laughs> to suddenly sat on 22 souls, and he's just going to have a really easy time of last hitting in this lane. Yes, I mean... The only, I think one disappointing thing we can say for Southampton is, where are the stacks? Where are the stacks, the stacks, where the stacks? Where are stacks, you? I mean, fair enough. It's not like their supports haven't been busy, because they've constantly been getting ganked by this scary, scary bane. But, every Shadow Fiend loves a good stack. Yeah, <laughs> he's got brown boots, and... Uh, you know, brown boots and a branch, he needs them stacks. Dem stacks, dem stacks. But, I mean, look at the last hits. Lancer is absolutely raking him in. I mean, even Wraith King's last hitting well now. Yep. Although, he's getting ganked again. Is he gonna go down? I believe yep. the answer is yes. He's, he's dead, dead So, uh, Southampton have changed their lanes completely. Oh, <laughs> and Shadow King dies with Oh, I missed that one. I'm trying to they improve my camera work, but it's. Uh, kill, but I think that the support is gonna. The support from Bane saves him. What a surprise! Bane making plays yet again. Who is this guy? Is this not? No, it's not the guy we need to be. Um, I can't remember it's who that not. is. They're changing it's the names just to play with us. Yeah, I think they just want us to be him. Everyone, maybe. Yeah. I think they've just called out that ward. They know where it is. Yeah, they bought the sentry, but look how close that is. That's got to be frustrating, right there. <laughs> yeah, it is. That is close. Do you like my uh, drawing? There? There's a really small measurement that I'm not allowed to say on Twitch. 
Uh, I think you are allowed to say on Twitch, but here at Game Britannia we like to keep things PG. Okay, well, it's a reference of butchers, and you're not allowed to make it. Reference of butchers? For those who don't know, butcher friend of the show. Uh, I I can't think what it is because I'm very young and innocent. You know, mm -hmm. I don't deal with those kind of obscenities. Looks like they wanted to gank bottom again. Yep, Shiba Chi. That's going to happen. Scared, that is the end now. of uh, Shiba Chi. Early arcane boots are for support. I think support. he has made no. some poor decisions there. I think he should have tried to fly away over the trees. Agreed. Obviously we did have the advantage of seeing that Nightstalker was charging in like a killer. But I mean, to be fair, he saw the, uh, the Gutton Observer ward, he would have seen that as well. Yeah, so... Misplays. Shiva Chi. Shiva Chi. But yeah, we do have some potentially advantageous... And Shadowfiend is getting dive mid here. Tusk's gone in, Bane's come in, stole the kill. Can Nightstalker turn this around? I'm inclined to say no. And he is also inclined to believe that the answer is no. Which is uh, which is handy for him, because otherwise I think he would have died. Meanwhile, top lane, Ethan is uh, farming away. He's gone for the Eternal Envy Mango build on the uh, PL. He's gone for some cheeky trades. What do you think we're going to see for PL? Are we going to see the I'm Yasha see standard, build? I think. I think we're going to see a defusal. Drake defusal. There, there is quite a lot of fighting going on. He is getting ganked now. Well, it's a questionable gank because of it really is. Is this the scariest lane? Bottom tower seem better than Eva Chi has arrived to lay There's down no some deeps. No, but he's going to have it soon. Sometimes known as the destroyer of worlds is also. Will he level the ult in time? Trouble brewing at Radiant's bottom tower. He's taking his ult. Oh. No, no use for them. Dead it. Radiant's mid tower is getting Alex banged up. And goes down in the mid lane. After all that praise. Yeah, I mean he's still he's still far ahead on the Radiant's net worth, but uh, Shadow Fiend obviously hand. is just so good at catching up. He would be better at catching up if there were some stacks on the go. Hint nudge wink to the uh, Southampton supports, but I wonder if we've got any stream snipers. If they suddenly start stacking at eleven minutes, then we might find ourselves <clears> wondering. Hmm, well it's worth here? mentioning we've got a blocked camp on the right. We've Got a failed stack attempt on the mid camp. I'm not bothered with the the second one, but yeah, that is, that's nice. Actually. Radiant's mid tower. Could you and who's placed that? Is it gonna is it gonna be a uh, bane? Three K player. Bane, yeah. Doing work. Gank attempt on bottom, but the ult not doing oh, anything. Yeah. Safe uh, from. Um, about. I'm dying. What do we think that um, Queen is building here with the staff of wizardry? Maybe he thinks he's still playing Zeus. And it's like, let's just build Axe. Axe. Yeah. Every, this, every is, hero. Is she going to go Axe, or is this going to be a yours? The Dyer best do something about that bottom tower. We've not seen a whole Little lot of items. I think it's going to be an Axe. Yeah, I think it's too. I mean, the normally, Dyer obviously, the build is the Orchid tower. into BKB, but Orchid doesn't do that much in this game, actually. No. I mean, obviously, you know, Orchid's always nice, but there's no one who you're like, wow. They're getting all kid against XYZ. So uh, maybe we'll see uh, an Axe rush into maybe BKB. I think so. I think we're going to see trusty a Assault Curass. I do enjoy a bit of Assault Curass thing. Hmm. I've not seen that one in a while myself. Well, clearly you weren't watching enough of the Frankfurt Majors because the tournament really was over that backwards. I was too sad that I couldn't be there crying all over the show. Not surprised, not surprised. Look all the goodies you could have bought as well. And Ethan does not dodge the stun with his um, doppelganger, so that's going to cost him his life. Bit of a late TP on into Wyvern, not saving anyone. It was, but. Ooh, uh, dive on to uh, Undying. Tusk. Can we get it? Nope, you have to tell Ethan. Is slow, is too annoying. That is annoyingly low on the Undying. Gonna kill the zombies. Oh, oh. oh. God, it's, it's scary watching. I mean, imagine <clears throat> being that undying. No, he's just bailed back to base. I don't blame him. Is Night Stalker doing enough? He's got a couple of kills, but now he's just sort of. I think he's got yeah, to go straight around. axe. I, I do enjoy some phase boots before axe. I just enjoy a lot of items before axe on Night Stalker. He's gonna go for treads, which is fine, which is fine. Makes him a bit more tanky. I mean, I'll, I definitely think Ags is the build. But, oh, um, we could be seeing a gank top. But something top before it could be a strike. 
Is AA going to get away with this? I think he's scared. He certainly is scared. Bane he should just be. like... Ooh, cancels the TP. I think that was a mistake. Ethan does come in to put a slow on Shadow Fiend, which hopefully is going to... Well, hopefully? Depending who you're rooting for, it is hopefully going to save a life. Is this a bait? Oh, they haven't seen the extra two players. Oh, no. And Shadow Fiend gets a, a, a double kill top, which is going to help triple him massively kill. in terms of catching up. Oh, not quite a triple kill. Alex does TP in top as well. So this is going to be... Another all five players top for uh, LSE, and they've got absolutely nothing for it and lost three. Mm, I mean, they've still got a clock with all. They could take something here. They're TPing in more, but I, I'm not sure if this is the play. 30 seconds for all time. Oh, really. nice wipe and all. Mm -hmm. With the uh, queen, queen of pain awesome stacked on top. And that does get them two return kills, but... Yeah, we see the Shadow Blade finished on the Shadow Fiend now. Shadow Blade, Shadow Fiend. Mm, what are the Shadow items going to get? If only you played in the shadows just before the game, or did you? And I missed it. I uh, can't remember. I'd have to check my playlist. I was too busy loving up some some Darud action. Well, did Darud come out? Did it? <laughs> oh no! Oh, I apologised before I did it. Did you? <laughs> yes. Okay, well that that's fine, I guess. Oh, was that what the I'm sorry dot dot? <laughs> and we have a pause from LSE. Is this a BM pause? I can I can get behind some BM pause. The casual reconnect balls game. Nothing, nothing to worry about. <sighs> you, yeah. Good job, Jimmy. The admin has not gone off to have his dinner. Uh, potential small concern there, but you know, nothing to worry about. I'm sure. <laughs> what is the rule concerning pauses? Uh, I think it goes something along the lines of uh, "don't be an idiot," basically. Sounds like a good rule. And how does Jimmy enforce this? With the ban hammer, I hope. Yeah, uh, it's actually more of a sledgehammer. <laughs> Especially as uh, LSE is nice and close by to him, as he's a UCL student, so he can just pop over straight into a lecture hall and uh, start clubbing people. Indeed. Let's have a quick look at items. Um, Quop is going for the old Yules, I believe. Yep. Uh, can't call Phantom yet. Why I think Yules is probably gone. a pretty good strategy versus the Night Stalker Silence, and you can also dodge the, uh, the Wraith King stuns. So Wait for your cooldown on the old um, Blink Arena. Blink, yeah. Trouble brewing at Radiant's bottom tower. Tusk Fetch, doesn't have Fetch a whole lot of anything. Beam, but I didn't follow it up. He's Shadow Blade. Have any dust. He's only just got the, the blade though, I guess. So uh, yeah, the Yules is finished. We do have a, a cheeky sentry on the uh, Winter Wyvern though, so there is some kill potential. He's got a smoke oh, on us. Alex comes in with the Yules. He is Revealed. trying to deward that ward, but I mean, it's only got 10 seconds left anyway, so it's going to oh. be a bit of a bittersweet victory when they get it. Oh, it's dead. 50 gold. Yeah, I mean, you uh, Big push here. Radiant Most of Radiant aren't there, though. They're just going to leave it. Indeed, I think they might be trying to trade this for the bottom tier one and just delay it with the wire. No TP on the task. But nice TP cooldown on Phantom. He wants the bonus gun. He's angry. He's cutting around the woods. Towers and trouble. Tower and okay, leave. So free tower for the die though. They're going to be happy with that. Well, they're going to defend bottom then. And regeneration. I'm interested to see what item Shadow Fiend's going to go. Here. Any prediction? Oh, we're going to big gank bottom. I think we might be seeing life still coming. <laughs> in. Because if he BKBs, he's just going to get Bane all time. Oh, here we go, big ult. Could be interesting, Ethan could be in trouble here, he doesn't, he isn't able to dodge it, he's taking a lot of new damage, but nice wide and ulti onto Shadow Fiend, he's taking a lot of damage, but does so well. Nice Stalker has arrived and it's pretty scary. Shadow Fiend may die here. Trading of nukes he's going dead. on. dead. <laughs> What's that worth? What's that worth? The Shadow Fiend does go down, which is obviously a huge kill, but they do get the uh, equivalent of the offlane for LSE, the Tusk, and that support. They've, they've brought them down to 18 souls, which is always nice. I mean, 18 is still a lot, but... Uh. And uh, while we've discussed the happenings of bottom, Queen of Pain picks up a very casual Ancient Apparition kill in the mid lane. Using and then uh, ulting. Pretty pretty textbook stuff right there. It was too boring. I didn't even bother not oh, watching that. No. I think I've pretty much said everything that needs to be said about it, right? Indeed. Dyer's Dyer's mid Yule's new dead. You know, no, no skilled plays there. Super Alex standard plays. earn from Night Stalker. Yep, and maybe now we will accept him going into the axe, will we? 
I think we will. Okay, I'll let him do it now. You sure? Or can you make mm. it? I think it's the play now. What choice do I have? I'm not happy about it, but what choice? <laughs> oh, you can I mean, say what you like. <laughs> I'm not here to hate. We're here to hate. Oh, we? Okay. <laughs> Atrocious players from all, all I'm here so. to hate. You've got to be nice. Good, cu good oh, caster, okay. bad I'm caster. Nice I'm bad caster. <laughs> okay. There's Camera work pro. Right. UMR of the UMR twins. Just having a little wander while. Uh... Wait, which was the other UMR? Where is he? It's um, mm. it's undying and nice stalker, isn't it? Okay, so they're both together. So it's it's not inconceivable that they're um. Oh, ganked up. Well, yep. here. Team does have ultimate, so there is time for Southampton to get there to back him up for life number two. And they are rotating over to do Miss on the ice, but ice bus coming in. Hits two. Three. Hits three. Cropped in number. He has got a double damage on Shadowfin as well, but is he going to go down for his two damage? But nice heal from Undy. Shiva Chi absolutely explodes, and this double damage Shadowfin is walking around looking rather scary, it has to be said. Yep. Alex is Extra. hiding on the back line, starting to ask himself... Why, why did he cancel that TP? No, he didn't TP. Why is he They're here? chasing him down with Tusk, and I think they're going to get him. Nice bonus killer. Meanwhile, Shadow Fiend Radiant continues to make tower use of his DD by clubbing the tower down. Good. I'd like to see a bit of creep skipping from Alex here. He can just kill the wave that would slow them down more. But, um, he's off and the The Radiant got one last top tower. Are you going to defend mid against... Radiant's bottom tower. And he's having a side right now. Do. Dyer's mid tower's having technical yeah. difficulties. In terms of how this is going to pan out late game, what are your thoughts? No, let's have a look and see. The Dyer's structures for now. Well, PL is a brilliant pick up against the uh, the Wraith King. It's not not incredible against the Shadow Fiend with the raises until he gets his some tanky illusions. Yeah, he's also not too great against AA. No, or the uh, the Undying for that matter. But yeah, I, I think that if if it really goes late game, it could just come down to that. PL is good, but they've got better core on the out on. Uh, Ow. <laughs> Southampton. Yeah, it's going to be quite interesting when it goes late because the Wyvern is going to do so much against all those calls because as long as Wyvern doesn't ult, I'm dying. It doesn't really matter. All the other kills are worth so much. True, and all that time you're just getting more illusions out, more damage, more mana burn. I mean, you take reduced damage if you're not the uh, the focus of the Wyvern, but you're still going to take a burn. Indeed. As, uh, as Nicki Minaj would say, true that, true that. <laughs> I wondered which of uh, Nicki Minaj's many um, quotable quaffs were going to come out. Mm -hmm. The Oxford Dictionary really... They're spoiled for choice. In Wasn't fact... The, I think the Oxford Dictionary like word of the year was a smiley emoji. I don't know if you saw that. I but was sick in my mouth in my car when that happened. Is that a real thing? I kind of hoped that was a, a lie. <laughs> <laughs> it was real. Bane's going to come in and... Oh, Shadow Fiend! Oh, where's the dust? <sighs> Bane. Bane, he was making plays, but now he's asleep. I tried to be on your side, Bane, but... I think so he was doing yeah. so well that he started Googling this awesome phone that they win if they get to the end, and... An awesome phone, you say? Mm-hmm. Uh, what phone would that be? Oh, I think it's the Honor 7, I mean, the it's... The uh, I mean, Isn't that by Huawei, who also make the Nexus for the uh, Google? They make a Nexus, you say? It sounds like those guys really know what they're doing. I think they do. I think they're pretty decent, I mean... There will be for some, some free swag here because I've never had plugs so good. <laughs> they almost sound rehearsed. What do you think I've done at work all day? You've been there? rehearsing uh, little adverts. Mm -hmm. Have you been watching various advertising, reading specs? Yeah, I've been like saying, "Hey, hey, Rich, at work. You know, what? Uh, what do you think of this away way product?" Like, is that the correct pronunciation? Away way. I, b I believe so. What do you think it is? I don't know because <laughs> I, I mean I was told to just keep saying honor. Honor, honor, honor. 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 Honor, honor, honor. I Oh, gang come button. The way we... I'm sure that was the best use of the user charge I've ever seen, but maybe I'm about to be proven wrong. As nice little bit. Oh, doesn't die though. The, um. Two the ice combined blast. use of the mech and the soul rip there, healing Night Stalker from pretty much dead to full HP in a matter of mere seconds. And the ice boss making it so they couldn't down. They'll dive after it. Scary invisible shadow things turned up, but there is a sentry ward down, so the Radiant are trying to make something happen, or not, no, as he TPs into the mid lane and says, goodbye, my friends. 
Do we have an insight on what he's going yet? He went the defusal. Shadowfiend is going to go for BKB before lifesteal, which... Not your, I don't know. Not believing in that? I don't know. I mean, obviously BKB is nice. It removes the a lot of Queen of Pain's damage. Removes the mana burn. But when you've got Bane ult, Wyvern ult, and Queen ult, that will potentially days. go for BKB. No breaking mm. down the radiant structures like this. Yeah. Uh, I'd like to see some life leech, especially against someone who's going to drag you down slowly like the PL at range. Bottom towers. Keep your tough top tough. Dyer's mid -towers yeah, I mean, it's definitely not a bad item, but... I think he would, yeah. I think it's fine. At some point he's going to want a butterfly to do, to help tank the PL illusions. There's a lot that he wants in this game, to be honest, to try and uh, deal with this. So I, I think BKB is fine. I'm not going to kick off about the BKB. No. Are you? No, no. I'm just upset that there's a fledgling camera and everyone's so spread out. You know, I like them all nice and nice little clumps, so I can just film them all. Battle Fair to enough. the death in mid or we'll something. And there is a gang going on on racing top. There is the mana bird from BL we talked about. And, and he is yeah. dead, as they say, on the streets. And Reincarnation on cooldown, but couldn't use it because of that d early defusal. Yeah, they are potentially going to get a bonus kill in the form of a babe, and he is very dead. Yeah, we've got and a Tusk, yeah, also Tusk as well. He's got low health. He's dead. But okay. he did enough work to save the babe. Away. So that's a, a good trade for the Radiant, they'll be happy with that. That's a dead Wraith King. Wraith King is going to go Radiance, which is pretty damn annoying for a PL to deal with. Especially now it's buffed. Mm. When you're a PL, you that probably are not that keen to find yourself longer. building MKB. Indeed, plus he doesn't really even... I mean, it delays his need for the Butterfly. Because it is an order. Let's do something about how to pronounce Why? The why? I believe that is the correct Hawaii. Hawaii. Pronounced. Who? Wait, what? <laughs> I'm worried that I'm now getting trolled. There's going to be some lies, isn't there? It's pronounced yeah. brown. It's pronounced. <laughs> no, it's not. But at the end of the day, guys, it doesn't really matter how it's pronounced as long as you go out of your way to go and buy an Honor 7 phone. If Wait. you're not doing that right now, then what are you really doing with your life? I hear that black sales are on because of the old Black Friday with... Uh, I think it's know? actually Cyber Monday now, Gant. I mean, Cyber Monday? Are. Well, that sounds like a technology-based thing that uh, Huawei with uh, Honor 7 <laughs> would be part of. If, that's, if your pronunciation is wrong, which I think it is, then it's probably better. You should, you should have words with someone in marketing. If it is wrong... Which it, I've been which saying, I think it's safe to say that it is. I've been saying it wrong all day. <laughs> When I've been doing a marketing speech in front of the uh, the office, we've <laughs> been practicing all day. Captive audience of 150, come on, guys! I want to talk to you about this amazing new product from Huawei. No, please stop now. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> oh dear, oh dear! Just yeah, last thing I lad, it does look legit. No joke. No jokes. No, no jokes. jokes. No JKs. We're only 25 minutes in, and about probably about a third of that content has been uh, spent <laughs> plugging phone. And the I mean, that's fine because it's a really good phone. <laughs> <laughs> I thought we were stopping. <laughs> what are we stopping? I don't know. You need to fight because it's the only thing that stops us talking about the brilliant phone, Huawei. Brilliant phone, you say? Mm. Okay, okay, let's actually stop now. Let's look at this raping because he's about to buy Radiance, and I do enjoy Radiance. I think there's going to be a ganked up. Let's look and at they that. Got a dust this time, we've seen they do. Push. We have a dust. We oh, have an ult. Look at that ult. No mana for the. Uh, oh. And the dust. There we go. That was a very nice ultimate from the bane. Though. Yes, it was. Came from behind the trees, so Shadowfin had no chance. He um, didn't. He didn't even click a creep executed. accidentally. It was. Talking of things that are beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> Eric. <Nope. laughs> Skinny okay, Eric. Sure. <laughs> okay, we'll go with that. I, think, I think we all knew what I was thinking of that. And the fact that you knew what I was thinking means mm. that someone's been doing some great work on the platform. Let's see. Oh, the pinging out for Roche. Who is that? Who? Oh no, it's a Tusk. They think the is it? Uh, oh, he's asking to check. The, uh, the better Roche lineup with Shadow Fiend just being the yeah, king, king of Roche and pretty much. And um, Wraith King with the. I mean, Wraith King is brilliant to have the, the life on anyway, but yep. um, get you know, potentially four lives if you can drag the fight out. But, yep, um, that is, that's very correct. Have you seen the uh, the old Aghanim's Wraith King in recent weeks? All I've seen of the Aghanim's Wraith King is people forgetting to play the ghost character. 
forget him. Yeah. It's a bit of a weird one. Because like, you weird. die and then you, oh, you rage, you throw your mouse and then you go, oh no way I'm still alive and you get your mouse back and then your character dies again. You know, yeah. Best axe ever. Interesting one. I, have not, I haven't seen it in competitive yet, that's for sure. I just... I and don't... this is pretty much as competitive as it gets right here. Well, that's right. After all, the prize is five times on a seven phones, and that's a delicious prize. I'd be happy with that. I mean, I can only use one phone at once, but I'd take five. You could, you could definitely use at least two. Make one of they're, those they're, like, they're, they're, they're a very suitable size. To, they're just pretty much, I'd say, the perfect size to hold in one hand. So you could have one in each hand, no problem. <laughs> Guys, please and fight. I think we are about to see a smoke from Dyer here, so here is Indeed. some real action. With a slight combat. giveaway non-smoked courier chasing them. Uh, it's fine. They didn't walk across the board, so here we go. Here's the smoke. They're going to go into the Rodian jungle, and they're going to walk into Vayne. And they've, the they've still got the courier following. Oh no. A kill is a kill. Oh, the smoke pops, and there is a really nice uh, glimmer cape from Vayne. But they've totally predicted which way he's going. And he's going to casually walk away. I think this is a dead bait. Oh, why much more to tusk? Oh, I think he's going to stop any further aggression. Oh, there was some definite, definite potential for a wide and ultimate there, but I think at the end of the day, if the enemy smokes and you only lose your bait, you're probably fairly happy, but this could. They are wasting a lot of time on five heroes. What I would say, though, is should they have turned that into Roshan? I think so. They should, I mean, they could be in there now. It'd be, be done. Now, It'd be done. It'd be done. With a shadow fiend and a uh, and a wraith king. And a night stalker. I mean, he's he does some deeps. The radiance has been finished. I mean, he's you know blade mailed up as well. He's a horrible hero to deal with now. Yeah. The radiance is just so effective with that mischance, especially when you're dealing with probably what is it? Oh, I'm scared. Max illusions seven. Seven PL illusions. The mischance spread across them all really adds up. Playing playing the maths game though. Especially as you're not just dodging the hit, you're dodging that mana burn, which is important for the fact that you know, reincarnation. Yep. Very much correct. Mm -hmm. What um what do we think for the Wraith King next? I really like Blink. The Wraith King. It, does it keep mail? Let's see what yeah, I mean they don't really have much more in um the way of initiation. I mean we've got the Shadow Fiend going in, but you don't really want him nuked as soon as he pops out with his ult. You'd want yeah, a fight you started. You don't want to rely on a Shadow Blade either, do you? No. When you're dealing with uh, Bane, who's quality on players point. like this uh, questionable, questionable Wyvern plan. Is it Wyvern who I need to flame? Who am I flaming again? Just I'm flaming Tusk. It's I just flame them all, man. Okay. Blanket it. These questionable LSE players. And here is the Roche we talked about. You might be asking yourself, why could they not do this when Bane was there? And you would be right to ask yourself about this. They prefer a more fair fight. You know, it's not fair to do it when the other team's dead, is it? That's potentially true, guys. Do they know? They're gonna dust. Surely this is a dust they're asking for. They're just wasting time, though. Do but they if know? he finally turns up with the old uh, armor aura, and suddenly Roshan is getting popped into the ground, and we can only assume that this is gonna be given to the Shadow Team. Roche will be LSE do start rotating, but it's too late. Are they gonna try anything? <coughs> Don't think. have to have split up. Alex just instantly is going to get nuked down there. The Yule's paying off though, he doesn't manage to keep himself alive. A really nice dodge on the uh, AA ult by Wyvern, who is now able to rotate onto uh, Nice Dodge. PL cleaning up a few kills on the back line, but uh, the Radiant have already lost their off lane and their support. I think they needed to just cut oh. losses on that and leave. I mean, I'm inclined to agree, and uh, we see Night Stalker pick up a bonus Wyvern on his way out of the fight. Using the agonims to great effect there to chase Wyvern as he tries to fly over the trees. Yeah, the only the only thing that can be taken from that that was good for Radiant is that you know the what well, and the PL got away. You know but the Yule's definitely paid for itself there as he yeah. was able to save his save his boy. Having a quick gander at net worth, I mean, for a long time it was all about the uh, quad and the Phantom Lancer. Now, that's a questionable blink. TP. TP he's confident, he's confident in yes. his do something about We did say that tower. Shadow Fiend, however bad a start he's going to have, he's going to catch up, and that's exactly what he's done. Yeah, he's taken and over now. And I think the itemization on the player is tower. extremely the solid with this uh, The I radius rate totally missed something. that, I'm afraid. I was watching some brilliant plays again. <laughs> that's fine. We, we're only missing the ancient apparition kills. 
to the point where some people might be suspecting that maybe Jim has uh, paid us to miss all his kills so people think he's good. I heard he, he was an Apple user, died, so I can't down. watch it. An Apple user? <laughs> They're not made by Huawei, I know that much. Huawei. Top tower, me, deniable. Are chat. they gonna do it? They are. Good, good, good. Away, way, ways. Away, yeah, way, ways. Bottom tower's been oh, no. oh, no. We no, can only have the chat. Let's have a little. Mr. Wilkin from Away, way. He's not currently listening. Whoa. Although maybe we should hope he is, because the amount of plugging that's been going down is. Gamma move. Disgusting. If you're gonna, if you're gonna we'll try. Gonna get in trouble with Twitch. <laughs> it's, there's definitely a H at the beginning of Away, way. Away, way. Sounds like maybe the beginning of a football chant. Maybe yeah. there's something there that we can uh, <laughs> write a song for the future. I'm not singing it though, but I hear Wait, you'd love to. A load of football hooligans sat outside like a factory. I believe they're a Chinese company? Football hooligans? I don't know if you turned up to the last event, but there was a lot of Yobbo Dota fans there, let me tell you. A lot of gangsters. And this is a dead baby. He's exploded. But. Yep. I mean, all I'll say about that is it's four people top. If yep. if Radiant are farming away, you can lose a bane to take four people's attention. Yep, and this queen is farming away, and I think she's definitely wanting. He might be forced to go BKB, but she really does have one defensive item in the all, so you might want to think about the sheep next. Yep, I mean so we've got uh, four people wandering yeah, around. We've got the eight apparition longer. sitting solo just so they can be ganked extra easily. Well, to be honest, if you rotate your whole team to kill an agent apparition, is it even worth it? Hmm. Probably not. <laughs> is it? I mean, no. seriously, like, no. it's not no, worth it. it is it? not. It is not worth it. Agent apparition is going for the uh, the Agonims, as one would expect. He's gone for the um, the Midas to speed up his levels, and when he gets that, that is going to be huge versus this PL. Have you seen that flag, middle? That is a, such a nice flag. Anyway, back oh. to the game. Some of the artwork for LSE is truly stunning. I don't suppose you uh, know who the artist is. I uh, will. I mean, I'd imagine artwork of that quality was probably done by Admiral Kunker, but uh, we'll get confirmation in the break. Okay. Well, <laughs> you're happy to plug other people, but not yourself. Well, <laughs> I'm modest. I'm very modest. Very yeah, you know. Modest. Humble, the right word as well. Just humble yeah. just mean the same thing. I think humble's got something to do with pie. But the die am I want to mine the tower. Yeah. Okay. Oh, are you going to see the PL? Uh, PL wants some, he's on his own, but he's Dyer's just like, come get some brosses. And what are we expecting from PL? <sighs> to get fat and then take it to like two hours and slowly, slowly drain the Dyer's willpower to live and then just take the towers off them, I think. Yeah, I mean, what items were you expecting? Oh, what <laughs> Not his aims for the game, which we can only achieve involve taking towers or something. Um, I think he's going to go hard. Yes, I'm, I'm inclined to agree. We're so, we're so... Is that going to be next? No, it looks like he's... He's got an orb of them. How long has he had that? Mm, I imagine he's had that from the laning phase since he was going aggressive. Is he? I mean, there's, there's not necessarily anything wrong with a, with a Scardy. It does give a quite a similar amount of health to the heart. Mm -hmm. But... Yeah, I can see a Scardy working, actually. Yeah, I mean, it's nice for the slow. I've just noticed the, the Aegis has just been reclaimed. They didn't do anything with that, really. I mean, LSE were dodging them around the map, so maybe they were trying and couldn't really get it, but. It's true, they did They could have pushed the tower. Kills, but, um, maybe they're happy to go late. We did say that they were probably had the better lineup there, but. Um, yeah, I think going late is. is another is smoke mid. And. Oh, nice dog sure. pop in the smoke, just so everyone knows that there's a gank coming. I'm not sure if popping the last door rolls was the play though, because the Radiant are now scared and they're running away. Yeah, it's, oh no, the, the Night Stalker popped his ult, I wonder why he did that. There is the um, the gem pickup on Night Stalker, so that's pretty damn scary for the Radiant in terms of vision. They can expect to be rewarded left, right, centre. He's got much. that vision, look at that, it's absolutely it's disgusting. Scary. I mean, like if you go to a standard view, I mean that's sort of what a player sees. It's more than a screen, it's horrible. You expect to see a moonshot to make it even more horrible? That's my favourite build. I mean, it's not the best, but it's such a boost to the to the vision. It, it stacks like down. additively, doesn't it? Yep. I wonder if uh, 
in whatever that weird hero mode is called. Ability drop. You could also get the Lunar passive, which is useful. And there is a fight going on before I continue theory crafting. And the question is, I guess, is Ray King going to die with his ultimate? Yes, he does. He's not able to pin him down before. The Shadow Fiend ult goes off, but he is pinned down by Wyvern. A nice ult from Bane. Obviously, uh, Ray King was on his second life, but he's gone down already. And a buyback on Kiro, which is pretty dangerous. If he dies again, the game's over. Alex also taking Eeks, and he's gone down too. Also forced to buy back, so this is a huge amount of gold committed by the Radiant here for this fight. And honestly, I don't think they can do much here at all. Three heroes. It's still like a full lineup from <laughs> from the Dire side. Yep, I'm a double buyback on both the calls, which is absolutely horrible. You know you're not winning the fight when the, you get the double buyback and they still Dyer want to take you for the tower. fight. Yeah, that is scary. Honestly, I don't think they they're probably just happy with this and they wait for Roshan and push. I think. Yeah, they're backing away. Because they forced the buybacks. The Chickens. Oh, yeah. the <laughs> Cowards. Kittens. Look at the gold draft. A uh, gold draft. Probably not the giraffe, but maybe the graph. Then you will see that um, the dire have got a nice big spike there because the radiant just lost a big pile of gold. the looksy. That is a rather large spike. Look like they were sort of stemming the bleed a bit, pulling it back, but yeah, they were doing some really nice split pushing. But it only takes one fight and two buybacks to uh, to ruin the dream. The 10k swing of advantage in uh, XP as well. And. Just to add insult to injury, we have a really low time. Have you recent. seen that? It spawns as he's still got the uh, the vision. Will he see it? Yep, they've seen I'm it. Sure They're going there. for it. They are, yeah. So this is pretty much the dream situation for Southampton here. They've just forced two buybacks. Now they can get Aegis and push again. And they know that if they kill Queen or PL, they've probably won the game. It's um, quite impressive that they've done the research and they're coming out fighting. Yeah. There were some rumours before the game that Southampton are having some issues with players. I'm not sure if they're using standings, they might be, but if they are, all the more impressive. And as a, uh, a London resident, it has to be said, scary times for the London viewers right now. We've already lost KCL and Queen Mary's, and LSE not looking the strongest in game one. Yeah, bring some it, north teams in. It's the Southampton no, representing. Invisibility! Yep, I mean, they, they lost the early game but they really did come back swinging. I think what we're looking at now, we're just looking at some really tanky calls from Southampton that <laughs> yeah. LSE just aren't farmed enough to deal with yet. And I don't think they're going to be farmed enough to deal with them anytime soon. They're not letting up, are they? they they're not giving them that chance. It looks like they are going to go and try and finish off the tier 2s before they go to Rax, but I think this Tusk might be having a few very minor problems. Or He's potentially about to some get major ones, some, some pain going them. in. Down. Nice from Ray King, but I think that instead of just cashing in on the free Tusk kill, they tried to get greedy and instead got nothing. <laughs> Indeed, Tusk just blinking and ruffling out there. What's a blink? No, running. Blinking, he blunk. Jim is currently just... having a, uh, a nap. <laughs> Natasha Nightmare. The more, if anyone from Valve is listening, then Gant is available for voice work. Very competitive race. Here's a little, um, little fact for you. The uh, the voice actor for Night Stalker voices Radiant Zoom Star in The Flash. Shape. There you go. What a fact. What a, what a fact. Where has that come from? <laughs> Honestly. Radiant top voice acting. It's hits. they sound identical. He's, I don't think he's the most flexible, but it does sound awesome. He's, he's got a... Uh, what voice do you do? I do Bane. Bane. scary monster voice. Night Stalker. That's the 5 minute reinforce time we've gone for the Radiant for the Tier 2. And I mean... We can be 100% sure that Southampton are going to be looking to push the base right With Aegis. I'm inclined to say that, that was not the reinforce. No, we've got BKB coming out and see item from Night Stalker. Is that what you called? I can't remember. That. Um, I'm gonna say yes just to sound clever. But I can't really remember why I called. Oh, we got a Sanjin Yasha on uh, Shadow Feet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sanjin Yasha is the G on Shadow Feet. And Shadow Feet, the big old. Please. Oh, there is a dead bait. 
As long as Queen and Piel don't die, that's why they're not going to survive. Shadow Beam is just so damn tanky, and he has the, uh, the Aegis anyway. So another buyback forced by the Radiant, and Dyer have lost absolutely no one so far. I think they might just have to say goodbye to this Rax, but we will see if uh, Alex, the LSC captain, disagrees with them. They're all pretty low, I mean, the right play is good then. Endless aggression. Oh, no. Any dust. Dust. There was you just go down. Alex is about to have the ultimate back up with Queen of Pain, so there's going to be the potential for Mokos there. She does play forward, she's got the Yules to save herself from this area. Doesn't get it off. Oh, really nice heal from Wyvern, but still no, no time to get the Yules off for Alex, so that ult goes. So dead. Oh, picking up a nice stock, a gem on the floor. <laughs> Extremely tight fight here. Shadow Beam goes down for the second time. No way just to bring him back. And it looks like, incredibly, it's a Radiant good Bane turns around. Except for one small issue, which is this scary, scary Wraith King. He does have an ultimate, but is he, if he goes down a second time and loses the gem here, then the gold swing is going to be absolutely huge. Indeed. And he cashes any bonus kills before he goes down. They're all pre. They're all extremely cheeky. low, but wow. I, mean, and I don't know about you, but I'm excited to have a little look at this. Let's have a look at this. It, it barely moved, the graph barely moved. Really? Look at the gold graph. It might not have fully checked in yet. Ah, uh, true. Although it does uh, There was the buyback on Wyvern, which probably didn't help things, but overall... It's I a good couple of K swing on the XP, though. good hold for the Radiant. Only, I, I'm, I'm impressed, actually. Only losing the, uh, the, the tower to that. There's no Rax damage whatsoever. Yep, and I think good. they're going to be very happy with that. Especially as they pretty much were breaking three times in that fight, and the Shadow Beam twice, and all it cost them was one buyback on Wyvern. Yeah, I mean, a, wy a Wyvern buyback isn't going to save you for most most fights, but that time it really did. <laughs> it it yeah, used it the ult as well, haven't they? So, I mean, it really was. Um, what item are we seeing next on this Lancer, though? He's finished his Scardy. Yep, I think. Hmm. Butterfly is definitely an option. It will force at least a shallow thing to go MKB. Were we thinking possibly MKB for that that burn? MKB is definitely a possibility. It's kind of a weird one though. It's only a 17% mischance. Is that quite enough? And it's only on your main it? your main hero as well, isn't it? You could just take attack speed and get a similar effect. Yeah, I don't know. It's a tricky one. I think that Alex, Alex is going to use Hulk Yurus. That's definitely something that they need. So that's going to help the PL out a lot as well. Obviously, his illusions love a nice bit of aura action. If he's willing to forgo um, buyback, he will have that soon. Yeah, I think that they're probably going to need it though. I'd imagine he is forgoing buyback. He doesn't have it at the moment anyway. There we go. He's picked it up. Um, yep, correct. So there is the uh, Soul Chaos. I expect that we're going to see the BKB next on Queen of Pain, but... You know, oh, he's going hard for his last item on Phantom, I think. It's not his last item. Oh, no, the next no. item, sorry. Yeah, he, he's true, he's got another Come slot or two. Them semantics, yeah. <laughs> I'm allowed to say way, way wrong, but uh, <laughs> one item misstep. Fired. You're not fired, don't worry. You, you get one warning. Tribute. I'm very generous. And a smoke here from the Radiant. They've been missing for quite a while, and I believe that the Dyer just saw the Radiant's courier walk under that ward. However, they do still get the Bane Ultimate off onto the Red King. Is I he don't have think they're going to burn the mana down before he dies here. Yeah. Good ult from Ayo. Shadow Fiend is unable to get the ultimate off thanks to a Bane uh, sleep. The second life of Wraith King is not looking massively successful as he goes down for second time. Shadow Fiend has started to pat out some serious damage though after coming back up from the sleep and the Phantom Lancer is dead. That was a nice so far, little ice shot. So far a, uh, a 3 for 3 and a gem and moves back over to the die. There's so many gems flying around that are uh, hard to keep track of to be honest. Could be a Oh, he's got by bank cooldown, but he's on a 90 second death timer on the uh, the PR. Yeah, I think that they're going to want to definitely think about trying to force the buyback here. Whether or not they can, I'm not sure. Because there is only the two of them. Just trying to take the racks. This is 
Brave, two. Structures must have been yep. And they really want to make TL by back. Radiant but if he doesn't, they'll be pretty happy with a free Raptor. I, I imagine the Shadow Knee is just going to man up. The Radiant's top is Two deaths for a, uh, a Rax. I think it's worth depending on what uh, Radiant do with it. Yeah, I think the fact that they don't have to buy PL back is what makes that all worth it. Depending on the Roshan timer, they might be living the dream. Yeah. Respawns in 30 seconds. That's probably good enough. If they want to scout it out, they can probably take it fairly quickly. Obviously, PL is pretty crap. It's a crap really short anyway. time, so I imagine they're probably not going to scout that just yet. Oh, they're pinging for it. Green. It's so green Shadow is, the, uh, is the die. Yeah, they're the ones thinking about it. Pushing hard on top. I mean, they've still got tier twos on the dais. Oh, it's yes. still got tier twos on the radio though. The bottom, they don't yep. don't want it. Just that missing tier three, which is rather scary for them. Especially as you've got, you know, it's melee racks down. The um, that's going to push on its own now. AA doing a standard AA business, counter pushing with his ultimate. AA Alex AA. is probably about to do an ultimate mid as Queen. There it is. Minus one creep wave. And Roshan is probably going to be uh, the next fight to look forward to. Not the fight between Roshan and <laughs> Brave King, which frankly is pretty boring. But uh, the I fight between Alice and Southampton over Roshan. I just hear the cable guy fight music when uh, you're, you're fighting Roshan. Cable guy? Cable guy. It's a Jim Carrey uh, film for those. Uh, I'm out of touch. Under 30. <laughs> I'm under 30. I'm True that. The dream. That's, I'd expect most people to say that. Oh, smoke into Roche. Dun 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 dun. You can't stop now. Now you've started the song, you've got to that, come in. That's pretty much it. Repeat that oh, forever. It? it doesn't get any better than that. Dun 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 dun. <laughs> okay, I hope that isn't copyright because uh, I'm not paying the fine if it is. Hey, we'll happy birthday, we'll you can't copyright that. Uh, up to Southport, along with the, uh, <laughs> send the bailiffs Police. over. <laughs> Please. Yeah, to deal with Amy. For those Wait. that don't know, Amy is Gan's wife. Shout I, out to Amy. I didn't want to break copyright law, she made me. Yeah. <laughs> Should we be doing shout outs to Amy after you've accused her of physical abuse in the same cast? The dire Rewarding people for their the transgressions. Mm. Yeah, probably not. No shout Bad out Amy. for you. Bad Amy. Amy. I can only assume she's watching right now, and will have enjoyed that show. <laughs> well, I did uh, did have the previous broadcast played on the TV downstairs. I was like, "Oh, Amy, you know, you should definitely watch me uh, my casting. It'd be really good." Along with like eleven other people. Eleven? That's again. I'm pretty sure that's the bug, and there's at least two zeros missing. Well, is it like the YouTube channel when it gets to three fifty, it just breaks for a bit, and then that's that's correct. Once so. there's once there's so many viewers, it's not working. <laughs> I imagine so. The tough life on the Twitch servers. They're only a small company. And they've only got small backers like Amazon, so their their server infrastructure is not too good. Well, yeah. Flaming Twitch on Twitch. <laughs> questionable, questionable moves there. Come at me, Twitch. There was a dust in mid. I saw that. Whoever did that. Please tell me that was my favor. Uh, was it 3K player? Wait, who are we flaming? Flaming Tusk. It's confusing because I think they've changed roles. Keeping the flaming on the on the, t the toes. And also beam has changed. Yeah, something I don't know. It's all too much for me. Currently, a really um, aggressive use of this cheese and um, Aegis. The shopkeeper. Yeah, I think they probably do want to go for another push, but maybe they're just thinking, "What's the plan?" Ready. And. They might be thinking about that other tier two. Shadow Fiend might be wishing he'd gone for a bit more of a damage item rather than Scardy. Yeah. It looks like he is now going to go for a Satanic. He's taking he's his time with it. Shell. Agreed. It's a good item, but he needs to get a move on. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, lads. <laughs> and as you say it, there it is, the Satanic. There we go. Wow. 
Hashtag gouding items. They have put cheese onto raking, which is pretty nice. It's going to guarantee. Well, it's actually it's not going to guarantee he gets his ult. It's going to give him a slightly better chance of getting his ult tomorrow. But I imagine PL is going to be pretty determined when it comes to the art of hunting down uh, raking's mana. Yeah, I mean, to be honest, I think it might actually it'll give him a longer life. It's essentially an ult itself, isn't it? But it might actually lower his chance because you know you're being attacked, your mana's going down. You pop your cheese, you go back up, more illusions on you. Yep, but uh, it's going to cause trouble, and it's... I guess that's what the is. And it has to be said, are these ultimates from Nightstalker rather giving away the game <laughs> when it comes to the smokes? The fact that I've you know, only seen him cast it during smokes. <laughs> I know. I don't know. Maybe we're just being harsh. But the Radiant are uh, a little bit suspicious. They're like, hmm, why's Nightstalker pop his ultimate? Hmm, where's the entire Dire team? Maybe we should hide in our base, and uh, that's exactly what they are going to do. Mm -hmm. No surprise there. And it looks like it's push time for the Rift Dire, which is always good. Yeah, they're growing up on finding a hero. Everyone likes a nice bit of a fight, and also, I can eat a biscuit once this game's finished. I've got two delicious biscuits in front of me. Are they Huawei biscuits? No, Waitrose. Uh, other supermarkets are available. Other Huawei's are available. No, there's only one Huawei. Okay. Here we go, Big they're pushing mid, and as we've all seen, Shadowfiend, as we've seen in many a pro game, Shadowfiend just walks up and starts clubbing the town. Yeah, he's got the Aegis, he doesn't care. He's got the Aegis, he's got Satanic. 3.2k health. But he is oh. stuck in by the Tusk, uh, the Tusk Shards, which is a, a very nice use of Shards. He's forced to use the Satanic, but he's getting essentially nothing from it, because he's getting illusions. Uh, the, um, the Red King's blinked in as well, and almost dies. And a nice ultimate from Bane on Nightstalker, and the Dire are taking a lot more damage than they'd like to, but there's the Shadow Fiend ultimate. Clears out a lot of the PL illusions, but otherwise doesn't achieve all that much, and so far what we've seen is huge amounts of damage on both sides, but actually not a great deal happens. No, no deaths from either. Uh, anti-climatic fights go, that one's up there. But PL has re-engaged, and he's got a lot of illusions, and he's melting down the mana. Not the best target prioritization there, because he burns down all of Undyne's mana and then switches to a Shadow Beam and does die. Can PL clean up the rest time? I'm inclined to say that the answer is going to be yes. On the back lines of this fight, Nice Stalker is trying to cash in on a Bane kill, which he does secure. There's another gem on the ground. Picked up by Marcus. Wraith King is now on life number two. He does did pop the cheese somewhere along the lines. No one uh, They decided to just cash in on the. Night Stalker killing stuff. That was a long fight for. And it's not over. Alex chasing down with the Yules onto. Um, oh, they've got it. That's one dead and dying. Now they've got just, just under a minute to do something. What will they do? Yeah, but they the did lose a Rax during that. I, look red. at that creep wave. They didn't. Damn scary. Oh, no. no, they lost the Rax earlier, didn't they? Did they? Oh, you're quite right, Ken. You're quite right. Only I was paying now they lost the Rax. <laughs> Maybe the Psychic. That is a we scary were just creep in wave. From some of the uh, Game Britannia spies that we have out there in the world, is that two of Southampton's players are playing from a LAN cafe due to internet issues. That's pretty dedicated, I'm impressed. Yep. And Radiant have gone for the push, forced the buyback on Nightstalk. I will have. And I, yeah, that is going to be it. They're happy to force a buyback and walk away. So, this time I believe it's it? safe for me to say. Check out that gold graph, yo. I just like the oh, collection of uh, gems that Radiant have got. Graph. Gold graph, that's much better. That is an 8k swing. Mm. What's with all the scribbling? Mm. Looking pretty damn nice for them right now. The levels are evening up, I'd imagine, as they all creep closer to 25. It's You don't really get much of a difference then, do you? And the Pia with the Heart and the Scardi is just tanking so much damage in these fights, and his illusions are as well. Even with the Shadow Fiend ultimate going off, he still had probably... Well, I think all of his illusions survive. Sure, some of them are low, but as long as they're up, they're burning mana, and that's what he's after. Yeah, between that yes. and the uh, Radiance, these fights are taking so long, but... They really are. There's so many tanky heroes, and so much mischance on the go, that everyone's just hitting each other and just standing around, like, you know, <laughs> one ahead for a cheeky coffee afterwards. Yeah. There's the uh, the Mjolnir from Wraith King. Any thoughts on that? Mm. He's slowly uh, building up his right click, isn't he? But 
I think that his plan here is, and I'm, I'm, I'm going to say it's a good plan, is that PL's got all these illusions stacking him. If he just puts the uh, the active of Mjolnir on him, then there's going to be so many things hitting him, there's going to be lightning flying everywhere. What do you think? Genius? Is that how it works? Based on procs. Mm. A 20% chance to release a... Has a chance to release a shocking bolt at a nearby attacker and four additional enemies. Oh. I think it's when you get hit, bro. I just thought it was like a random zap occasionally sort of thing. Hit. But it's not that clear, is it, actually? I guess it says attacker, so I'll, I'll give you that. Yes, lightning everywhere. He is now Thor. I think that's the plan. We will see, I guess. We will see. In the next fight, we're not even going to talk about what's happening. We're just going to watch uh, Wraith King in first person view. Let's not do it. Not first person view, what is it? Thingy, what is thingy mode. Thingy mode, that's something we call it. Not um, us, though, because we're. Marching we're around. Playing. He's got one hell of a gate on him. He looks, he looks bold, that's for sure. Marching around. Oh, blinking around. Chopping things down. Light never already. And for those of us that are. Uh, watched LSE's first game in the previous tournament. You may remember that it was a 80 minute epic mm -hmm. that left some members of the crowd saying it was one of the most dire games of Dota they'd ever seen. <laughs> you may have been expecting me to say great game, but no. Depression I, set in. If I remember correctly, Amy was there like, when's this ending guys? Yeah, them ones. They're going to attempt to defend a tier 2, I'm not sure. If that's the right the last fight pretty convincingly. I think they're happy to do that. You sure you want to try this again, bro? PL is going to go for the butterfly build to just get even more tanky. And that's an aggressive link from Toss. They're looking to try and find some bonus kills. They're all splitting up if they can pick off some now. Undying it. has been caught out by the Toss and he is dead. Radiant are wondering where the smoke is. Yeah. <laughs> Most talk uses ultimate without a smoke. Wow. It's too Wild meta for you. And the Radiant are going to have to go back and defend top lane because they have a very small Rax problem on the go this evening. Mm, so small is not there. Tiny. tiny. Is this, oh, there might be a fight mid. I was almost having to resort to who has the best statue. Alex does get stunned, he's got BKB and he's got Yules, so I think he's going to be walking away if he wants to be, which he does. Fight it. A nice Bane ultimate onto, uh, onto Shadowfiend, and Shadowfiend I think is going to die. He doesn't even get time to pop the Satanic, which he really needed to there to be honest. PL is also taking a lot of damage and has died to a big crit from the, uh, the Wraith King. Alex running away scared, he does have the gem, so he uh, knows... Back from Shadow from. Here he comes. Stop goes down, that's probably another gem on the ground. Another die here and dead. And I think Tusk yes. maybe should have tried to just get the, the AA kill there. He did have his ult available. Such mm. is life. We see an so, axe coming out on uh, Bane. Had, uh, buy back from the Shadow Fiend there, which is probably the most notable part of that fight. I think they're going to then try and turn it around into forcing the PL to buy back. And if they do that, then they're going to be pretty happy. If he doesn't buy back, I think they lose this tower. There we go, double buy back. A nice ultimate from Alex, who gets a lot of damage off. Maybe about to dive though for his efforts. Just about gets away. What was no, he on there? He's been picked up. He does not have buyback available. So if Shadow can do some good damage here, then this could well be game over. The thing is, Shadow Friend could die to. I mean, he's bought back. He was here and ready. And Shadowfiend's mana is gone, Shadowfiend's life is gone, Shadowfiend is dead. Wraith King might want to begin thinking about leaving, but he's instead he's dead. Walking. What was that? And this... I don't want to use the word throw, because uh, it's very negative, but... It was, was chucked. This game, this game was chucked. Yeah, I was about to say tossed, but chucked I like. And, I mean, I don't think the Oxford Dictionary should be talking to Nicki Minaj after all, it turns out it's us. Indeed, I got loads of words that could be in there. Shot. I don't think they want to know about some Snur of your Snurt, snurtle. Well, it's like when you you laugh but only a little bit through your nose. So what are you calling that? Snurtle. I can't even remember now. Snurtle, you know, like chuckle. Mm. Who even knows? It's it's getting late. Have we got chortle. another two two it's more of these crazy things to go? Well, yeah. 
this is a great time to say thanks for tuning in guys you are currently watching the best of three between LSE and Southampton this is game one I know I can't believe it so much excitement and we're merely in game one I Who think knows? my uh, my my camera ship is being brought into question again who the hell would be questioning your camera ship? Gamma Mu. Gamma Mu, sometimes known as a structure. Mm -hmm. uh, she's getting very rude. Yes, she's what's happening to die I don't know what to tell you, Gamma. I'm sorry. When you I'm signed up for the, for the job, Dyer's and it wasn't really you signing up, it was more me telling you that I need you to join me for the seeing these cards. Well, I, I didn't mention. Fun. You'd be getting bullied. Dyer's Not only by your wife, but also by. Dyer's Turns out it's like a, uh, a thing of natural selection. People Dyer's called Amy hate on people called Didn't Stephen. I mean, who would have known? What, Who'd have thumped it? What a coincidence. Which, which potentially each Amy thought they were getting the shout out earlier, but in reality Dyer's we were talking to a completely different Amy. It was neither of those. JP's two. wife. <laughs> oh, geez, too many she doesn't bully me actually. Is she not? Just saying. She is quite nice, generally. Unlike the others, which are both vicious bullies. Oh, so getting this. Uh, while we've been discussing <laughs> this, there wasn't the a whole lot going on. Under <laughs> uh, tier 3 on the bottom. Fight going on, and Undying, as always, once you get out of the very early game, Undying essentially just dies. Yeah, I mean, it was nicely scouted out by an invisible. Well, Bane. Bringing it out again. And this is going to be um, Roshan dying, which is very good because Pierre was forced to buy back, so he would love a bit of Aegis action. Bane has gone too deep though with his uh, Glimmer Cape, and it's going to cost him his life. Whether or not that's Boring the end time, of the action, though. I do not mm. know. Red King blinks in. He hasn't used the Mjolnir active, which I disapprove of. There, there it is. Go. Suddenly there's lightning it's flying around everywhere. Yeah, didn't matter, he got cut down. Why yeah, the old this. Shadow Beam purely to show him down? And if PL dies here, then this is probably game over because he is not a player. He, he is an the cheese. Oh, but he does get the cheese and uses it, and that is huge. I think Shadow King is just going to melt again. No buyback on Shadow King. If they can kill Rave King again, oh, Rave King able to blink gets away successfully. But they are going to look for bonus kills here on the Ancient Apparition and the Night Stalker, of which they get both. And that cheese use was actually, massive. That cheese use was massive. Radiance mid the cheese use was very big. Apart. I'm Maybe impressed. even been better than the Aegis Radiance purely because he didn't have to waste three seconds. Oh, no. Wraith King has just died. We've got a buyback on AA, but an AA doesn't do all that much. And an Undying certainly doesn't do all that much at this stage of the game. It's a good move, though. Oh, really look at the time yes. Four seconds remaining, but he goes down. I think Tusk may be dead. Tusk is, is going to die because that is an And there he goes. Pop. Does not have buyback, and this is an intense late game situation we have going on right here. Should I they be taking a Rax? I think they should be aiming to kill Wraith King because he does not have buyback. And I think they were not going to struggle to do it either because this PL is no. a scary business. He's already at half mana. His ult is up, but oh, the uh, BKB actually oh, saved him. Right. They're going to want to get the sick kill, but he does get the blink off. They really Diffusal need to active stone and down. Bottom red's got problems. I'm getting getting him before the blinks off. And um, we've got a question from chat, Gant, and the question is, who's the best team we've seen so far? And I'll answer that question for you. The best team we've seen so far is probably Cambridge, who had an extremely convincing... Um... Is that the first round? Yeah, was... mid -towers yeah they were very yeah, active. I watched that, that, they were strong. But it has to be said that both teams in this game have played really well as well. I mean, the if only PL problem... dies now, then he goes down without buyback, and he is dead for two minutes. Mid -tower. I could use a little help. That was that wasn't the best play for him. I mean, he, the cheese was good, but wow, this is an intense situation. He got the racks, but they they did get the racks, but the uh, the Brave <sighs> have also lost another range racks mid, and in 90 seconds, a lot of damage can be done. Yep, they're actually up on racks now, but it's but for how long? Mm. Is it good enough? They're just not wasting time, are they? They're just going straight down mid. They know that this is the chance. And Jimmy in chat, who was two minutes in the past, has just said, GG, no one can kill PL. <laughs> oh, Jimmy. Some of us here in the future know better. Yeah, that's the benefit of living in the future, isn't it? Like an Australian. 
Is that how time zones work? I don't know. I don't know, know enough about time zones to tell you you're wrong. Well, that sounds wrong. And they don't care about backdrop protection, they just casually club down the And what are they going to do now? They're just going to go to tipples. Without PL, how much can they really do then? They've still got 49 seconds. It's... It's a long time. Oh, Race King's okay, first ult's first gone, but how did we lose that? He just clubbed him down with Bane. He needs to be using... Bane needs to use his ult to buy him a lot of times. Didn't kill anyone, and I think they really knew to get a kill either. Not that Radiant it was potentially possible. The Bane ult is insta-cancelled. As he dies and drops again. Still 25 seconds for the ult. Look at the HP of the Ancient right here, and it's not very high. This Buyback on the Queen, the but how much can she really do? The answer is not very much. They're doing everything they can. The Ancient's on a hundred. Oh my god, that was intense. To buy back in the last seconds, but congratulations to Southampton who win game one, and we will be back ever so shortly with game two. But before we do do that, anything you'd like to mention, Gand? Any, you know? Anything cool? Mm -hmm. no? uh, just, you know, have a little thing. <laughs> I don't know if I should. I feel like we've, we've gone too far. We've gone too hard. I mean... Could you ever go too far? Okay, well... Welcome to the heritage for those people who have just tuned in right to the end of a game. When did it become okay to be the same? Did we choose to have no choice? To be average? Ordinary? Or do we still have the bravery it takes to do something no one else is doing? We are honour. And we are brave. Are you? Are you brave enough to be yourself when everyone else is being everyone else? Gurus, shiny logos, designer prices. Are you brave enough to demand an alternative? Yesterday's technology, slow speeds and inferior displays. Are you brave enough to expect more? Are you brave enough to make a change for the better? Honour. Clearer. Further. Faster. For the brain. Right now, I've seen this rather unusual Dragon Knight pick. They, they had a big choice. <laughs> they had a lot of choice, and this Why is what they've gone for. Am I missing something? Um, is this a support clockwork? Is it a support Sven? I think it, we could see a support Sven here. I don't know why. Who do I? Like, when you can see their lineup. You can see everything about the lineup. Why would you do this to yourself? And not want to say advantage or anything, but <coughs> oh, bug, no. Bug, bug, bug. no, 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 no. What book is that? The buy book? I don't know. Seems fine though. We're good to go. Okay, so we do have the. Uh, this is a support spend, right? No, no, no. This is a carry spend, and it's a the support windrunner, which is an extremely <coughs> unusual pick, to be honest. Hmm. Maybe they're aiming to play a similar role that Naga fulfills. I mean, it doesn't have the farming potential, right, but build it into are. a core later on. Maybe. But, um... If you want to do that, why not pick Naga? Hmm. More reliable stun? Or just pick Venge? <laughs> I don't know. Okay, it's, it's fine then. We'll, we'll see how it goes. Thank you very much for the follow, Kenny. Or hmm. Babe. And here we go, we are underway. There was a short delay, but time for everyone to go and get a drink, you know, get an ice cream. Oh, whatever. don't talk about, is this like you're cold? Ice Bringing out things that you really want, I would honestly I murder a, a person. Right Other drinks are available. Such I'm on the Vimto. Mm -mm. And Vimto, indeed. But oh, Vimto. 
Kate, do you wanna oh. do you wanna do this thing? Do this thing. Do Don't this thing. Yeah. Thirty oh, seconds yeah. to show time. <coughs> like two. JP is a little cutie. Thanks, Isn't thanks, Newtastic. Well, I have to ask you, Newtastic, why have you not followed the channel? I do Boy. wonder that myself. There's like sixty Let's people at all. Let's could be. Let's do it. You go first. No, you go Let's first, do. please. Okay. No, you hang up. Okay, here we go. So, for the Dragon Knight, for NSC, we have Exoliptic, sometimes known as Alex. What a what a player. On Winter yeah, Wyvern, we got Shin go. Chi. On Windrunner, which we assume is a support, well, we have a 3k player. And on Clockwork, we got Road to Low Prior. Finally, playing the Carrie Sven, we no got more Brain beds, Fluffy please. Bear, sometimes known as Ethan. Rumour has it, he likes building Sanjin Yasha. In terrible, terrible places. And for the Dyer, better get through this quickly, you up for it or am I going to smash it? Jinu Uma, Uma, Ma, Solo, Muzzard, Arm, Gyro, Queen, Pain, Slada, Spirit Breaker, Dazzle, Reverse, Solo, Go. And what does our rotation mean? <laughs> Solo is going to be taking some uh, harassment damage from Shiva Chief. Spirit Breaker is going to come in and he gives, gives Wyvern a good clubbing. All in all, a bit of harassment traded, probably roughly even so far, and uh, Queen's got the set up ready. I'd say, well, so, I've been trying to judge these games by like traditional laning, but they're playing a lot of these double lanes early. Yeah, they do. They love a, a, a bit of a dual lane mid, but Spirit Breaker traditionally not the best harassing support. The nature of the hero being a, a melee, but um, you know, we'll see what he can make happen. Indeed. So this mid lane probably we're going to see uh, in favour of the Queen of Pain. But obviously, once the old once the bottle spam comes out, we will see um, Dragon Knight just spamming that flame drift <laughs> to get the easy lost hits, as we see right there, as if by magic he demonstrates it. Um, in the bottom lane, it appears that uh, the Radiant are going to be doing uh, dual lanes. We're going to see Wyvern and Sven going up against Slardar. Both of them should be fairly happy with that. Wyvern is going to be pretty reasonable um, zoning out the Slardar. But Slardar's going to be happy because he is pretty much guaranteed to be getting XP and probably not the most horrible blink timing we've ever seen. And we have seen some horrible blink times along the way. Yes, I mean is where the real excitement's going to be, because everyone knows that Gyro does absolutely obscene damage in lane with the old um, Rocket Barrage, and combined with the Spirit Breaker, that's pretty nasty. Obviously Clockwork does have some pretty uh, defensive capabilities in the form of the Cogs, but I think he's still probably going to be quite scared for his life. Just missing that. Oh. Diva Chi uh, is, misses the deal, and he's going to be pretty gutted right now. He's used two sentries and he's unable to find it. Indeed. And I think the word that um, we're looking for is upset. He, he definitely is. I mean, I was looking at top when it was just the. Oh, we have a charge going. We do have a charge. We have a, a spirit okay. charge. Don't even know if he's going to be needed. I think he's dead. Oh, oh he is the awesome. bottle. But here's the spirit cow. He's arrived. Does not have bash level, and he's going. He's, he's clubbing him. He's gone for the trade, and he might actually get it. He's taking a lot of damage on the spirit cow though. Oh, oh. But that is a first blow. Managed to move the, uh, the aggro of the tower to Queen of Pain. That was and some Alex good. Alex has gone from crying to probably dancing. Mm, that was some nice yuking, just dragging him around the tower. <laughs> Dragon's blood doing some work there. Yep, and uh, <coughs> Scott Thomas was pretty big then. Very happy times for Dragon Knight, who would not have been expecting to get off to such a good start because he's an unfavourable lane, and now he finds himself with Boop's bottle and uh, living the dream. First blood on top. Mm. And uh, we can now see Space Cow charging top. Whether or not they can actually make a kill happen here, I doubt. And there he goes, he cancels the charge. Yeah, it's He's quite an evasive lane, lane, really, isn't it? I mean, I was at first thinking it was going to be a really horrible lane for Dazzle and uh, in Gyro, but then Radiant Cow's up there occasionally, sort of making a bit of a menace. Mid -tower won't last much longer. Oh, Gyro's going quite low there. He's low, but look at all those tangos he's sat on top of. <laughs> Ready to destroy some trees. Timbersaw would be proud. Well, I would break out an impression, but to be honest, my nose is getting more and more blocked. The drugs are wearing a hot and expecting like 24 hour Dota marathon. Not We're only into drugs. hour number three here. We're into hour number three, and <laughs> yeah, it's, it's only game two. Thank you very much for the follow, Mootastic. Amy is pretty jealous of the name Mootastic because you may have noticed she also uses the word Moo in her. Uh, Screen name, and she's wondering who this is, trying to get on her heart. It's actually her from the future. Mootastic mm -hmm. was the original Moo. I, I'm pretty sure that Moo is older than Moo. Oh, what a confusing world we live in. The trading, trading wax on bottom. Sven whacking away there. Yep. 
he does once again. We are uh, Ethan slash Grey Fluffy Bunny. He loves a good mango. We saw him with us starting with a mango last game on PO. We see it once again on Sven. Indeed, it's either he is next level or he's just spent too much time watching it handle MB and it started rubbing off. I really <laughs> rubbing off. I no, really don't I think, think I. Come on, Gamble. <laughs> <Better than that. laughs> I don't are know if I am. Are we <laughs> Oh, you also absolutely not. I'm very mature. I, you know, I don't think I've actually ever bought a mango, like, like seriously, in a game. Um, top lane, are we going to see a bash from Spirit Breaker? He needs a bash. Can Come I bash on, you pseudo arms. Guaranteed bash on this charge. Mate, cost the life of 3k play. Oh, there's the rocket barrage and he just go down. We do see the rotation from Wyvern, and if they get a kill, return kill on the Jaro, this will be 100% worth it. No grave available on Dazzle. Are they going to dive this? I think Spirit Breaker needs to go. Well, you're manly, you're a space cow, but you're not quite that manly. And I think uh, the biggest surprise of the game so far is going on in mid lane. And the dominance from that Dragon Knight, is level the, six. The last hits. I mean, Crop hasn't Dragon even made Knight six yet. Twenty-eight last hits, and look, Queen of Pain down on sixteen. That is. I mean, we do expect Dragon Knight to get some farm, just the nature of the hero with Dragon Breath means that you're guaranteed to get something, but... Queen to be this far behind? Are we going to try this? Surely is, not. I think, pretty much guaranteed to get the rune here, because Queen is going to be... Unless you got a friend coming up. That's all right, but I think the Queen is going to die here. Oh, no! And, I don't know if you noticed, this but... Um, oh, that rocket could have been so good. Not quite enough mana on um, Dragon Knight to finish killing Queen with the stun. Oh, that is that is a lost opportunity. Breathe fire, definitely. And um, he's going to be pretty gutted by that, I think. I'm gutted for him, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I was sort of hoping that he might get the tick on the uh, the poison, but it wasn't to be. What's his cow doing at the moment? He's just sort of not a lot, really. He's he's grazing. There's going to be how it is the cow life. There's going to be a gank tap. Is cow going to? Oh, I think this is chilling. just pure uh, nope, rocket barrage could potentially get annoying, but... Oh, the cow comes in, and um, here is the rocket barrage boosting. There's the cogs, but he's trapped in. Who's trapped in with whom is the question. And once again, Wyvern is forced to teleport off. Drops down a bit of her ass, but at the end of Maybe the day... just going back in. That's why. It's dangerous. Go back. Awesome. Get some oh, health. Although... There's the power oh. shot! What? <laughs> 15 <laughs> HP on the dry river. I totally take Wyvern it back. Should have done that earlier. And Kenny uh, <laughs> is trying to raise the tone of the broadcast away from the constant nonsense and has asked the question, oh, I think Dazzle plus Slava is a great to negate DK and Sven's no, arm. Do you agree? And the answer is yes, I'm actually quite surprised that they, they have the choice of what hero they would pick for the last ever season. They have picked Dragon Knight in top of that minus arm. Yeah, I mean, that's like literally his thing. Dyer's mid towers heaven. Technical difficulties. So, yeah, I mean, I guess at the same time you can say if you're facing loads of minus armor, you better make sure you have a lot of armor in the first place. Maybe that's the logic. I know that Alex does very much, um, Alex being the LSE captain, very much subscribes to the whole stats world of Dota drafting. He does enjoy looking at percentages of who's won against whom. And I would not be surprised if he has looked up the win rates of heroes against the Dyer. And has decided that Dragon Knight is the pick. Couldn't hang on to that yeah, I mean, tower. you're getting like 20 minus armor from Slardar alone. It's a lot. Yeah. It really is a lot it of minus armor. And you only get the you only get 12, is it? Yeah, 12 for Dragon Knight. So, but I mean, his items are often pick. You know, his pickups are often like armor orientated as well, aren't they? You, know, you, you see. The uh, yeah. helmet of dominator. Yeah, the AC. Yeah, exactly. But still, oh. scary times. The dazzle weave is is pretty crazy. The amount of minus armor you can end up with there. Mm -hmm. Ben's farm is coming along very nicely. So far, the radiance farm is just so much better than the dyers. With uh, the incredible stomp that's gone on in mid lane, with how far ahead um, Dragon Knight is over Queen. Like, I don't even know what to say about that. <coughs> Kenny no. is suggesting that Dragon Tail, Dragon King's Tail stun is the best stun in the game. What do you think about that game? Um, I can't blame Kenny because, you know, I'm going to have to see him in real life next week. But The you best can. stun in the game is is big. 3.2. Beastmaster would like a word, I think. 
Yeah, yeah, that's true. I mean, doesn't go through magic community. Pretty satisfying though. I'll give it that. Except when you have to chase someone down and they just walk away, and you're trying yeah. to do it without <laughs> dragon form. Yeah, true that. True that. <laughs> So yeah. the top lane is, honestly, it's not going that badly for the Dyer. <coughs> Windrunner has got face boots up, and I think what, they, they've died twice up there, is it? We both killed some top lane, I think they were. Looks like we've got a charge going on bottom. They want to try and reduce some of this net worth on Sven. Will it? Will it, won't it? Oh, come on, they put up damage on you. must yes. be seeing what's happening there. He's to say this, they are going to get us. He has got a lot of one charges as well as the mango. Getting a missed stun from the uh, Slada, but Queen is here to clean up. And. Dead. Oh, uh, yes, if you're gonna lose your core, then at least you're happy that they've been forced to rotate three people for it, right? Yeah, I mean, it took a long time as well. The, you know, the amp damage came out early, that was a nice stun under the tower. I think the fact that he's. But it is definitely a big kill because Sven was free farming away and uh, that slowed him down a bit, but. Is it enough? I don't and think I he lost a lot of gold though. I did doubt this dragon would pick up. Oh, and I tell you what, something's going on which we can flame right here. What's. where, 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 where? I've drawn on the map. I don't see it. Ping. Spirit Breaker near the mid, mid tier 2. Oh, window. yes. Oh, Spirit Breaker. Poor Trying baby. to just, he's just. He's after some more trees, isn't he? Delicious trees. Oh, he's grazing away once again. <laughs> but look at them, he's on the dire side, there's no leaves around. He's sneaky. I guess we don't know what kind of diet space cows have. Maybe it's a little less nutritious than the uh, traditional earth cow. Does oh, look at this. Diet? mid tower won't oh. last much longer. Is he just being pro? I think, yeah. And what we're about to see now is the most exciting part of any Dragon King game. It's when you just press R and hit towers. Dragon King, go Dragon King! <laughs> Look, the best done in the game just been brought over. That was actually a pretty much shot. Sure. Slada just sprinting away. Yeah. And are we going to see his? He's, he's going to die. He lived. That was, that was Seventy-one health. Ten out of ten would uh, would Duke again? Would purchase Duke once? Right, Spirit Breakers yes, out of the trees now, boys. Bottom tower. And as predicted. Them dire buildings are tough as nails for now. Oh, I think right. two TPs coming in and the slow run running in. The lack of mana on uh, Windrunner might be about to be more good. Big ultimate from uh, Jaro that forces the Radiant back. The track is so damn tight. Got the one charges on top of this as well. It's currently sat on, well, six armor still. Will we find the Chiro? And that is going to become a tier 1 tower, I believe. Even though um, the Dragon Knight, Elf Dragon Forge is one. I really want them to see the Chiro. <laughs> He's just sitting there waiting. Oh, that's a scary world for the Chiro to live in. And he Why? cannot TP for 30 seconds. No. He's currently buying it at the store as well, rather than where he is. I can only imagine that tower. he's currently sat screaming. He's really deep in the trees at this point. <laughs> and they're not going to find him, like, so... I mean, yeah. even if they don't find him, why is he doing nothing? He's not getting XP, he's not getting gold. Hello, <laughs> League. Thank you for joining us here today. Hello, League. What a, what a nice guy you are, saying hello to everyone. They don't deserve your hellos, they're, they're all bad people. <laughs> Especially that Mutastic character. Um, we have seen the Helm of the Dominator from Sven. Assumably he's going to start doing some stacking with the creeps. Personally, I'm quite a big fan of the, um, the Mosque of Madness, Manly build. The colour caster is sounding very quiet. The colour caster. Sorry, I'm just laughing at the chaos bolt chat going on. It's it's all kind of BM. The colour caster. Oh, I think I think the the cold is slowly taking its toll on you, Eric. Plus, the, as the later <laughs> it gets, we're like oh, the, the voice the sort of starts getting a bit weird. <laughs> I can actually hear my voice going. Why is Gyro not farming? Well, <laughs> interesting. I mean, yeah, he has been farming, but he was struggling. Quite a lot against them. Two minutes ago, though, he was sat in the woods, wasn't he? Just that chilling. Was gyro, that was and we do see a no, 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 Gyro was sat there the hut, wasn't he? And that 
is a devil at? Jaro was sat where so? Near the hut? Yeah, in the bottom right. He was just sat there oh, waiting oh, away. Yes, yes, not doing anything. <laughs> right. <laughs> it's it's going to be... You know what, at the moment I'm just scared. I'm scared this is going to be a 50 minute game and we're going to be here tomorrow when I need to go to work. <laughs> And on the topic of work, Wind Runner dies. I'm not really sure how that's related to work at all because uh, Gander's not working in a field where he's going to die. I think. I don't know. It's a dangerous world, IT, mate. It is dangerous. Real. Real dangerous. Um, damn servers. You never know when they're. <coughs> the die, I bet. Do something around. about that bottom tower. Two hours, Radiant's 30 minutes, 19 seconds. Wow, we've really been up for that. And that's a potentially dangerous teleport from the we got a big red dragon doing work in the pearl. That's going to be, at the very least, a dead spear maker. The Queen Ultimate hits several people, but none of them go down. This is oh, me. wow. And with the ultimate arc, we see Sven doing a lot of damage, and this is likely to be a dead uh, gyrocopter. And I assume that is mid this is They do get the, uh, the dazzle as well. And this is going to transition into a tier 1. Surely, I mean. There's the Blink on Dragon Knight. I do enjoy this build. Blink as, Dragon Knight. As you discussed earlier, the, um, no the main problem people. with the whole Dragon Tail world the is the, the stun range, tower. which can be fixed with the purchase of a cheaper Blink Dagger. Right or not cheaply, depending on how you use your Blink Dagger. Well, the surprise Dragon Tail. Yeah, there's definitely some unusual comment that one could make out of that. But we're not about dirty <laughs> comments here at Game Britannia, because we are PG. At least we try to be. Pretty on the game. By the time it's midnight and Gan's horribly sleepy and ill, all kinds of unusual comments might be going out. Indeed. I mean, I'm just surprised I haven't s swore yet. And you know what? I so nearly brought out that it's your live on TV, don't say. And then there's something you can't say. Eric confirmed discriminating against Lowlanders. <laughs> okay. Uh. We do not racially discriminate here at Game of Dungeon. Uh, I don't Against, think. Against um, actual or fictional people. Well, fictional? Is it so wrong? I don't know. Probably is. We don't. We just don't discriminate full stop. Yeah. We're friendly characters. It's true. Anything that Moo tells you is a lie. Anything that does what, sorry? Moo t anything Moo tells you is a lie. Yeah, Moo is not to be trusted. I when I say Moo, I mean Moo-tastic. <laughs> not moo Gamma, gamma oh. Moo. It was full of trust. But we do see a smoke here from the Dyer. They're potentially going to be looking for the um, Olga. They've walked into Wyvern, who this is the second smoke he's walked into. He does try to fly down the cliff, which is a good escape tactic. I can't believe they got that. That was a terrible blink by Slada, like, running away from the enemy. But at the end of the day, as we said last game, if you waste a smoke for a support, not necessarily a waste, if you use a smoke on a support, then your support yep. probably walks away happy because that is that could have been a dead carry. The maybe uh, the radiant just aren't used to dealing with um, teams that don't go. Hey, look, smoke arena time. Considering that our last <laughs> tournament LSE won, we have to say that um, Southampton are doing a pretty impressive performance. They've already won game one and they've started well in game two as well. Here's the blink coming up straight into the green paint. Wow. Okay. Is that the second time I've said Dragon King? Oh, oh my dear. A, a big ultimate that was a big hop. does find himself sat on top of the Slardar. He's popped the blade now, he's popped the um, Blink battery again. Blink again. Blink straight flame. This Dragon, Dragon King is doing well. Breathe fire. Oh. At this point, I'd like to claim that I'm saying Dragon King deliberately, because I know I'm going to get in trouble after the game for this. Guess what's happening to Dyer's bottom tower. And he is now going to go Dyer's for a Sand. Whether or not this is going to be a Heaven's Halberd or a Sand and Yasha, I'm not entirely sure. The but I think either way is pretty solid. About their bottom I think Jaro's going for a Yasha and... No. Hmm. Yeah, Jaro will most definitely be going for a Sand and Yasha. Dyer's bottom tower is getting the business. Ben has gone for the blink as well, so they've got some really nice initiation potential for the Radiant. They just need to make sure they keep converting these kills into towers. Dyer seem to be uh, the dragon's one Dyer's if they don't want to take this anymore. True that. And I assume that we're probably going to see BKB coming out from Sven next so that he can just frontline and do a lot of work. Moo is now claiming that it was not racial discrimination against Lowlanders. It was a 
different type of discrimination. Sexual? Frankly, I don't think we'll respond to Moon Chat anymore. The fact that he hasn't been banned already is overwhelming for me, to be honest. It's just disgusting. And who are these admins? Yeah, it's time to start revoking some mod powers. Clearly a dodgy guy. Probably uh, smuggles drugs on the sly. <laughs> well, what an accusation to make <laughs> of an innocent man. I mean, we don't know, right? Maybe he does do that. I don't know him, but I imagine the, he lives uh, in one of those countries that you go to prison forever if you're found with an ounce of cocaine up your bum. True that. Anyways, uh, not the views of Game Britannia. Or me, in fact. Just merely musings of a madman. Too much um, of the old cough medicine. Too many of those Waitrose biscuits, I think. I've started to lose it. <laughs> How were they? They are I actually... I was eager to find them. I have to say, they are absolutely delicious, but oh. other biscuits are good. <laughs> Well, I'm on the herb nerves. And we do see the, the Dyer initiating here. And oh my god, look at those cogs. Completely zone out with Dyer team. It does cost him his life. Oh my god, it doesn't cost him his life. The blade mail, the uh, gyro goes down. Sven cleans up with the ultimate. He and talks up about the explosive fight fights. For the that. That shackle. Oh though. my god. I mean, I don't want to say Ice Frog Please. <laughs> <laughs> ice Frog Please. <laughs> and I can't believe it. Can you believe it? That's a five man wipe for the Radiant. That was a good fight. That was a good like, everything fight. Everything went what well. What do you want from a fight to, to be more than good? Well, there's two players with half health. Okay, <laughs> there is room for improvement. But I'm, I'm inclined to say that that's more than good. Dyer's mid towers ever. You ever know? Oxford Dictionary difficult. might be tuning in. This is probably about the seventh time we've mentioned them. They probably replace the good with just like a little the emote now. Like that. We don't oh, need yeah, words. We don't need words, do we? Which no. are, maybe the, the the smiley one, which is like a, oh oh. Out. Look at Dragon one? King, TPing out, trying to not be seen. Did you see Dragon King in the woods again? Oh dear. What are oh, the Dragon King. It's like trapped in the woods. Too. And as was pointed out in chat by JP, trying to redeem himself for use of swear words earlier, he was doing some tread switching for his spells, which um, we all he, enjoy. He wasn't talking about that, that's just more swears in, in uh, Australian, I think. Swear words in Australia. Good I mate, I love a good tread switching. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, off the back of that impression, I think we have to once again say that uh, we do not support any kind of racial discrimination here in Because <laughs> that's just how bad that impression is. <laughs> One impression, oppress a whole people. I mean, it was that bad. <laughs> I said good day, mate, at the beginning, and even stop, tried to go stop up to the are. end. Like, it's not getting better. I watch MasterChef Australia, I know all the bar accents, I'm not having this. It's great, isn't it? Amy Who are you enjoying it. this season? I, I don't to that level, I'm afraid. I'll tell you who's annoying. Rose. God damn it, Rose. Pull yourself together. <laughs> Shout out to uh, Rose. Annoying other, everyone. Other TV shows are available. <laughs> and once again, not the views of Game Britannia, who I'm sure support Rose in all her actions. Unless Everything I say is totally the views of Game Britannia. No! <laughs> Gand! Everything Gand says is probably the complete opposite of what I've been Oh, this game. Come on, I just want to see you blow everyone up again. Big fights. And uh, here we go. We, we've got an invisibility room on the uh, Windrunner. Okay. And this is likely to lead to some MLG Radiant 316 no scope style there. players. I am calling it now. Big Brace fight. Yourself. Oh, damn. Oh, it was just too short on range. And there is the zoning ultimate. The cooldown from Zoro. It's not and a as big far cooldown, as excitement though. goes, I have to say, I was looking for more excitement from that individual. <laughs> I don't know about you. I liked the cooldown animation. It's so yeah, I mean, the animation is nice, but I'd like to see it hit someone, rather than just be for zoning purposes. True. We are seeing the expected build on Sven, the BKB. I assume Radiant that we'll be seeing a Daedalus after this, magic. and combined with what we assume will be an Assault Curious coming out of the Dragon Knight, that is going to be some serious DPS potential. Yeah, I like that they've not wasted the Dragon Fog, and they've gone straight into... Uh, Taking Roshan after they've forced them to play defensive. Uh, I think that this game, LSE have put on an extremely oh, solid form so far. They've been using Dragonite all really well. They've been getting kills and straight away converting them into towers, which is exactly what you need to do with the old uh, Windrunner Dragon Knight style lineups. Someone has joined chat called Eric the Dragon King. Either this is <laughs> the biggest coincidence we've ever seen, or someone is flaming me. I'm going to assume. It's option one, because who would ever want to flame me again? <laughs> I, was I wish I could say it was me. No one and not laugh. I just can't believe I didn't do this. 
Well, I hope that you're busy controlling the camera and do not have time to start making fake Twitch accounts just to troll me. People I watching suspect. the stream now are questioning whether I'm actually controlling the camera. I forget. You forget that you're controlling the camera? Were you just like in the corner making <laughs> Twitch things? Yeah. Um, so yeah, whoever's done that, then I don't know. Yeah, While you're there, power. please follow the channel. You know the drill. <laughs> Because there's nothing we like more than viewer numbers and uh, follower numbers. Bigger numbers, better numbers. Fact. Bigger numbers. Points mean prizes, as they say. Other 80s Twitch shows are available. I want to know what Dai would do when they're just stamping all over those towers. Why are they not defending these towers? I think they just can't. I don't know if you've seen the gold advantage, but it's pretty significant. <laughs> it really is. It really it's a scary is. scary world for the Dai right now, especially coming off the back of a huge win, and they're now in a scary, scary world. We still have the um the Aegis up on Dragon Knight. He's got another three point five minutes with that and do you expect him to be going for damage. going for racks with this? I really would hope they would. I mean it, yeah. How long until his ult his ult's up? His ult's up and they've yeah. got the BKB on Sven now. They should they should be pushing the tower, they really they've got, um, they've got the blink on Windrunner, I think those are the items they need. Although this is not it's ideal, gone. Windrunner goes down and Clockwork might be getting caught out of the as well. They do the cancel the blink and there's the zoning cogs. I think he might want to use a um, a rocket flare to cancel the blink instead. She doesn't. Want They've to. got DD on Sven though. They could absolutely cut someone in half with that. Because He's going for it. Him. Look at that. That is some deeps. The DD da the DD room sadly wears out. Otherwise, I think we'd be seeing a few more dead heroes here. On the back lines, the Wyvern and Dazzle are sort of just looking at each other like cool story, bro. In the meantime, on the front lines, <clears throat> Dragon Knight's just like. I heard you like towers. We still got oh that dazzle escaping on thirty eight health. Or oh, has he? There's still time for him to somehow. I wanna into see a, a brilliant clockwork cogs. Yeah, no, he's gone the wrong way. He has. I think uh yeah. All in all, I think the Dyer are gonna be pretty happy with that. I think both teams lost one hero. But anything which delays the push of the radiant right now is good. Come on, you've got a rocket flare. Do it for me. If no, I don't think the snipe's coming off. It's not fast enough projectile anymore. But I mean, I've already been surprised by someone's determination to create troll accounts of me. So, and yes, Kenny, I strongly agree that Sven is going to go straight for the Daedalus because he is going to have the assault cuirass buff from the Dragon Knight to provide his attack speed. And yes, he has called Dragon Knight Boom, to whichever goes. character out there thought they were cool and made fair Eric Dragon, Dragon King. King. P.S. Cameraman, can you please click on heroes other than Dragon King? No. Right, here we go. Get Take your item fill quickly, because I'm giving you all in a one. Tasty dose. Tell you what, there's an option for looking at items, isn't there? I'm sure there is. Is that on this now? No. Do you know where the items thing is these days? Um, it's in the top left somewhere, I believe. If it still exists. Okay, it just doesn't exist anymore. Why are they cool? Yes, please, Mr. Cameraman. I have anxiety issues as it is already. Who do you think this is Fanner? Is it Moo? <laughs> Moo's been quiet for a while. It must be Moo. We're calling it Moo. Let's see. Net worth. Come back. And here we go. Here comes the push. <coughs> Honestly, the not that much longer. About like that. 40 seconds or something? Unless my ability to read clocks is bad, <laughs> which I'm not going to say is impossible. Let's see. And here we go, the tower is getting clubbed down. Dyer's We've got the old Alpha the Wolf there. With a okay, it. It's going to fill him up with health in a second. Nothing now. Dazzle's buffed up his team's armor, essentially ready to defend, and the Radiant are going to back, or they're not going to back. Dragon Knight is determined to do some deep stuff now. And he's still got the Aegis. Yeah, either my max skills are bad, or it's about to vanish any second now. Reclaim the zero seconds, there it's it gone. is, the Aegis is gone. The regen box and the Dragon Knight is suddenly no. pretty lucky high on HP. Then it's just doing a scary amount of damage with this. And I think... This is it, surely. Yeah, I mean, LSA have played extremely well in this game. Really, it's brought it back everything. It's been pretty dominant, they're just make it. getting kills, getting towels, getting kills, getting towels. And it sounds simple, maybe Dota is a simple, simple game. 
Well, they say that's like one case, of the big differences between the MMR brackets is capitalising on the um, you know the advantages you get. Some people just forget yeah. to take towers; they go back to farming, and it's just, you've got to get, take your advantages. And whether or not they're going to go for another push now, I'm not sure. 20 seconds until Elder Dragon Form is back up. Not the most mana we've ever seen on Dragon Knight. And there's the GG call from Southampton. And we will be going to a game three. Well, I guess they just decide that I think that is it. Are tired, yeah. The radio. And so we will be out shortly, guys. This is a best of three. And it is a single elimination best of three. So whoever wins the next game will be going through to the quarterfinals of the Heritage. And whoever loses will be going out. We will be back ever so shortly. Welcome back. Patches downloaded. Casters refreshed. Eric is cute as ever. Songs on point. I ain't gonna turn this down. But the big question on everyone's mind is, can we, can we get through this? No, it's not that bad, is it? You're struggling that much. Someone's there. <laughs> we just had some down a little bit the field on. Other energy drinks are they? Calf <laughs> Ten seconds to go. Well, <laughs> I think I may have just slipped back in time, ladies and gentlemen. These picks are Radiant's very reminiscent pick. of a game that happened not so long ago. You gotta ask yourself though: Has everyone watched the? Uh, has everyone watched the patch notes? Big changes. Are, are there actually changes? I don't know. I do not know. Let's get I'm on that. Patch notes. I'm just enjoying my tea, tea right tea. now. Yeah. Oh, I'm so jealous of that tea. I'm so jealous. I was lucky it might have a little bit of honey in it as well. Mama Keen looking after me properly. Uh, let's see. Brewmaster selection after Primal Spirit. In All clicking two, on recipes. All clicking on items. Pretended that we were going to try and talk about <laughs> the game. They were patch notes related. We haven't even done that. Patch notes. Okay, guys, so we've seen the kind of expected bans. We've got the Doom ban, the Darks ban, the Alchemist ban. Undying once again banned, and then we move into the expected picks. Slardar, obviously, very strong and wide on. Are you Dazzle talking about meta expected, or like LSE versus Southampton? Yeah, they're sticking with the meta pretty close to you, right? If this is clockwork now, I'm this like, is walking away. Five seconds. Uh, I'm not, I honestly expect Dazzle. Wyvern Dazzle is really strong defensively. Although, based on last Reserve game, we did time. see that they were pretty strong with the uh, with the aggressive lineup. So maybe they will be looking for a more aggressive support here. I mean, we saw the very unconventional lineup last time with the clockwork wing runner off lane, and I did speak to Alex briefly between the games, and he said that his team was actually very unhappy with the lineup before they went into that game. Who is this again, sorry? The LSE captain said that his yeah, team were very big. unhappy with their lineup before they went into game two. I thought it was a pretty solid lineup, really. I mean, obviously it stumped, didn't it? I mean, it was fairly unusual, I guess. Hmm. But um, we can't deny that it was effective. <laughs> Whether or not that was the draft or the execution, we do not know because Maybe we have it was very just small the peculiarities of it. I mean, how do you counter the crazy? And this is an extremely strong first two picks from uh, from Southampton. I very much expect to see LSE ban Dazzle here because we already have a huge amount of armor manipulation coming out from Southampton with the Slardar Ultimate and the Shadow Fiend Aura, and they're not going to want to put Weave on top of that. Ten seconds to go. Mm. Shadow so Fiend is pretty That is all the analysis well. I'm going to do for seconds. the whole game. You really? Yep. That was too much. I'm shattered. I'm not paid enough for this. Reserve time. I hear you just rolling in Huawei on a seven phones. Huawei, oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Not even cash, just handsets everywhere. You're just like going down the do. local spa, you're like, uh, right, that's £2.50 for that loaf of bread and some milk and a chocolate bar. Like, do you spa? take Huawei phones? We don't phones? have spas down South Gand. What? Oh, once you get to about Birmingham, they stop being spas. Shut up. What do you, where do you buy all your goodies? Radiant. Our garages are like Marks and Spencers and stuff. <laughs> I'm not even joking, my local garage is Marks and Spencers garage. I suppose they've got to like, figure out some way of justifying that £5 for like, two Tic Tacs and, and a paper. Logo yeah. I've got some mini Tic Tacs from uh, Frankfurt and they're so cute. They're like the that cutest Tic Tacs you've ever seen in your life. Well, my, uh, my workmate brought home like, a giant box of Tic Tacs. Is that what you got from Frankfurt? Like the little packets that come in the giant box? Yeah, that's exactly what I got. How cute are they? They are pretty, pretty little cushy. Whoa, whoa, things. whoa. We've never advertised so much without me saying other mint type sweets are available. <laughs> There's like if zero other mint. If anyone from Tic Tacs is listening, 
then please get in touch because Radiant I love Tic Tacs. I genuinely don't can't think of a single other mint. There's none other. There's only Tic Tacs. It's like Buy Tic Tacs. Polos are nice. I really like fruit polos. Buy Tic Tacs. Fruit polos are really hard to find. You don't see fruit polos around very much. Can you imagine the, the fruit polo Tic Tac combo? Oh really my god. Tweaking. I tell you what. A Tic Tac is probably the perfect size to squeeze into the middle of a polo. That's what I was thinking. It'd be like a little wheel. We're onto something there, Gant. You should. Transformer mints. You're, you're wasted in either everything. IT or I'm wasted in everything. You should be in marketing. That's right. I just like sit here on a Twitch channel, and then like they put something on that they don't want me to advertise, and I'll talk about everything else. Yep. <laughs> so, if yeah, as I said, if someone from TikTok is listening, and there's so many viewers that I wouldn't be surprised if someone was, then get in touch. Amy at GameBritannia.com, and uh, we'll work something out. Indeed. We're, we're not demanding people. We will accept very minimal amounts of tickets. There is the Dazzle Band from LSE. Clearly I do know what I'm talking about. Indeed, Sam Thornton again. It was like, I think that's the like identical pick. band order. Yep, I, they definitely do not want to see this Beam Meepo come out. And they, oh, they're quite worried about the, the um, Bounty Hunter. Maybe that is a strong hero for one of the LSE players. Or generally they're just not a fan of it. Like, we I did thought since it's nerf were, it was like not really being picked out as much. Maybe they really are very keen on the whole um, Shadow Blade Shadow Fiend combo, and they do not want the track ruining that dream. Dear There's a certain mysterious character in chat who really wants to see an Outworld Devourer Five pick. Seconds. I can't see it I'm myself. I'm inclined to say that he's probably been sniffing a bit too much cocaine because. Reserved. <laughs> Um, Whoa. <laughs> Kenny probably has not actually been sniffing go game for those who were in doubt, but maybe he has. He is, you know, he's away in Boston. I don't know what goes down in Boston. Boston. Just like, yeah, throwing cocaine out the window and sniffing has made it down. All the way through to um, this stage of the picking. Usually he would be banned pretty early, but here he is. And the Tusk Slardar combo is. <clears throat> I don't know. Do you want to pick it's an adjective? It's genuinely Cam? horrible. Like, genuinely I'm going with horrible. horrible. Not only an adjective, but an adverb as well. Wow. I'm generous. Uh, Them yeah, words. it is. It is very horrible. Um, you do not want a Slardar rolling in and crushing you. No one wants that. i tell you who really doesn't want that. that Crystal things. Maiden. The squishiest of squishies. I can it's see there's a point where she just wants to live in base and be like, there, you've got your aura. Just, yep, I've that's got what I'm providing. Aura. Have it. You, you take you guys take it from here. <laughs> yep, I've done my work. People in chat are asking themselves, are they still going to be talking about mints in two minutes? And the answer is yes, we are still talking about mints. What other types of mints are there again? Well, the well, you know what, I really like tree ball soft mints. Tree ball soft mints, they are nice. There was a point where like I couldn't not have them in my car. They'd be in like the the middle thing, and just I know couldn't. what you mean. Yeah, they are they are delicious. They're just subtly squidgy. Everyone's a winner. Except when they get really cold and then they're like the hardest, sharpest mint that has That's ever true. been. That's true. They've got to be just, they've got to be the right, the right squidgy levels. Yeah. i tell you what I don't like as well, warm chocolate. Warm chocolate? Some mm. people love it. Interesting you say that. Today I melted my dairy milk on my laptop and I have to say, I ate it with a spoon out of the packet and it was delicious. <laughs> that might be where I'm going wrong. Well obviously you need to bring a spoon out, like if it's melted then what are you going to do? You can't just you wipe could, your hands like, you know like you get those yogurts and soups in a packet, you just squeeze them out with like toothpaste, you could just do that. Could do. And we see another Sven pick from LSE and instantly uh, Southampton Radiant return Bam. with the Ancient Apparition. <clears throat> the hero which is very strong against Wyvern. Obviously the heal you can just stun because they're not moving. And also the heal is destroyed by the Ancient Apparition ulti, so I think that's a solid pick. It's also a great stun combo up with Tuscan Slider, so go. that's a very good pick for them. See, and once again, I think we have to say LSE's draw is seconds. a little bit unconventional. We don't see Crystal Maiden that often, we don't see Sven that often, but based on the fact that they made their unconventional draft work last time, Dyer's I yeah. guess I'm not going to try and flame it this time. Is Alk a big pick at the moment? Alchemist is banned. I know it's banned, but is it really being picked up that much that it's oh, the first yeah. banned? Oh yeah, everyone loves an Alk. Hmm. See, I've not been picking up on the pros too much. Uh, to it's happened not been getting picked up because it's always banned. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you just get that bounty room with minute six. zero, and the game's basically over. I normally just ignore the ban and pick phases because you have like idiot casters Reserve talking time. about the mints and crap like that, and it's, uh, you can't be bothered, you know. Talking about mints. What kind of unprofessional <laughs> production would the casters be talking about mints? 
He's a scam. Hmm. Oh, Moo makes a good point. Nerds. Aren't nerds delicious? Do you remember they're nerds? They're mixed though, are they? They're, no, they're sweets. Yeah, but they're Moo's really trying nice. to make us go off topic. <laughs> Moo, we're trying to talk about mints here. Honestly. We've got like four frosty heroes and we've got like a blue hero in Sen. All of those are quite minty. Slardar would be a good tree bore and then Shadow Fiend and Clockwork would have to be some sort of chilly mint. A I chili don't think that, exists, that sounds but... absolutely disgusting. Mm -hmm. Okay, you know? we've got the final ban coming out now for Southampton. They're right. probably, well, they are Call looking it. to ban a mid hero. They've gone for the Lena, which oh. is they... not a bad shout. I think Dyer's it's very good <coughs> against BKB heroes, of which they have at least two. And LSE have gone for the Templar Assassin as their last pick. But, um, interesting choice. Obviously, he has got a lot of flash farm potential with agents. Also, does match up fairly well against Shadow Fiend. They don't have a huge amount of uh, tick damage, mainly just the agent apparition and cold feet. Yeah. So she's going to be fairly happy Damn keeping her uh, refraction charges up from that. Plus, but... you, you know, like it's all big hits, Shadow Fiend. Oh, Spectre. Like I say, the Shadow Fiend and the AA and the Tusk are all like big hits that you can dodge with those refractions, but. Yep, and there is the final pick Spectre, one of my favourite heroes at the moment. Obviously combos beautifully with the Ancient Apparition in terms of the um, global potential of the hero. And we will see if they can get that farmed enough to win. Based on the amount of cosmetics that uh, Alex has got for Templar Assassin, we can only assume that he really likes Templar Assassin. I was going to say, I've not really looked at the curry as much. Um, it, the fact upsets me a bit. We've got a Roshan for the Dyer. We have a Ram. We did have a Red Paw earlier, actually. Shout out to uh, Ricardo, who really enjoys a um, snuggle little with his little, cu with a little cushy one. We've got a little fact coming out from chat here. Thank you for uh, Mootastic for this one. Ju Jubula means to eat voraciously in Luganda. Luganda is the major language spoken in Uganda. Ju Jubula, for those. Uh, Wanting that again. I'm currently worried that Moo's a compulsive liar and making you swear in other languages. <laughs> Potentially, but that is so out there that I mean. To show time. Well, surely that's got to be legit, right? If I have just sworn in Ugandan, then apologies to all our Ugandan viewers, of which I'm sure there are a lot. So, before minute zero, we are seeing a little <coughs> bit of warding going on by Dyer, and I'm going to quickly introduce the players. For Southampton, we've got UMR on Tusk. We've got Jin on Ancient Apparition, we've got Solo on um, Shadow Fiend, we've got UMR once again, UMR version 2 on Slaughter, and finally, carrying away Inspector, yeah, we, we have Muzzard. Over to you, Dan, take it away. Let me wear with the radium. We have Crystal Maiden being played by the delightful 3K player. Not skills in 3K. Hmm. Templar Assassin being played by. Oh god. Explicit. Is that Alex? That is indeed Alex. We've got Shiva, Shiva Chi, playing Winter Wyvern. And we have, <coughs> excuse me, Sven on off lane, being played by Yukime Graze. Yukime Graze? Clockwork, Road to Low Prio. I can only hope he gets there and is happy. We can, he deserves it. Everyone go and report him. So this is a slightly unusual choice. I'm not sure what lanes LSE were expecting to come out from the dive, but they decided that putting Sven solo top was the, the one. Okay, he's not solo top actually, it looks like CM's gonna be there as well, but CM actually in a little bit of trouble here. And I think that's a that's a dead crystal main. Oh no, maybe not. He is gonna get clubbed down and the uh, the damage that Chilling Touch does is crazy, but she has got away. She's got, got a TP as well. shards coming out in ten seconds, but is that enough? If the Shadow Fiend had come over, they could have had this, but she just needs to TP. Why is she not TPing? She is on a serious mission. Oh, and she was too indecisive then. Misses, though. I think she should still be TPing, <laughs> even now. What this would be is... amazing is if she got the courier kill, but no. <laughs> and oh. here we go. Here is the TP, and she is fine. And well. she has wasted a lot. I keep saying she, but we know that it's a guy playing. She did well. He slash she. <laughs> We don't uh, gender discriminate here at Game Britannia. Wait, you're not going to mention all the other types of gender? Just he and she? Oh, game triggered. Well, Getting triggered. There's, <laughs> as well, I mean, they were just the most convenient two to mention at that time, by chance. All the genders are available. 
I mean, Yenders are available. Uh, if any of them would like to sponsor us, then I'm not sure we're up for that. But if you give us enough money, we will, we are up for we're up for peddling anything. You see, that was actually that worked out really well for CM. Tusk has zero experience at two minutes. AA has zero experience at two minutes. Yeah, true that. Both these heroes need six. <laughs> Currently, I've got an inverse. An, an inverse? Oh my god, I really am losing it. An invisible Winter Wyvern who is going to potentially steal a bit of experience. Make some plays, or indeed just steal some experience. You know, there's one lane that's been going off, and I've just ignored it this whole time while we've been running around and stuff. And mid? Mid is actually a bit of a battle. TA holding her own. 2 to 2 on the wow. Shadow Fiend. 13 Alex to 8. has been extremely dominating in this mid lane. <coughs> Crushed on Dragonite against the Queen, a lane which I don't think he should have won. And he is absolutely miles ahead on TA um, against Shadowbind. Obviously, this is a lane which he should win, but still, this is a crushing, crushing lead. Yep, I mean, Shadowfiend's slowly getting the souls up, which will help. Huge amounts of harass going on against Apparition, and <laughs> caught that right. Yeah, let's say you did. Thinking an Apparition, hate the that hero. That didn't see that kill. Um, he blinked at a bad time. <laughs> but what essentially happened was uh, Winter Wyvern just thrust him down, stuck a Sven stun on top, and uh, you're dead, son. Oh, it's going off on top again. They, they're they aggressive top. Um. Yep, and they have forced the uh, the Dyer to bring all three of their heroes top to. Just because this Sven <coughs> and uh, Wyvern are doing a lot of work, to be honest. You know the drill. Crystal Maiden is doing Crystal Maiden things. For those that don't know what Crystal Maiden things are. It involves frostbite and creature in the jungle. Action top, top action okay, top, action up. top. Beep, 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 beep. The mango comes out and Sven gets another kill. Or actually, he doesn't. Wyvern gets another kill. Tusk gets another resist. And honestly, I don't think Sven wants to keep dying this. That's I mean, I don't think uh, Spectre wants to keep dying this. I think what Sven wants to do is buy a magic wand. I think that would probably be quite a decent idea. The, um, the thing is, like, I don't know if Spectre was the right pick. They know that LSE like the aggressive game, they, t they beat them in the long game before, but Spectre needs a farm and he's just not getting it. He does it. need a farm, but I think um, part of it is that Southampton were not expecting this this lane. No. The Sven, uh, the Sven Wyman aggressive lane. They probably expected to just be zoning out the clockwork, which would they would have been able to do easily, but... Um, you know I what? assume that it's Alex who's made the call for these lanes, and I think it's a good call when it's been a payoff. I was giving Spectre a hard time. He's currently on 18-2. Is uh, you know, Sven's only on 13-3. It's certainly not bad, but he would he'll be hoping to be more in the kind of 30-plus region right now at five minutes. Yeah. But you know, it is what it is when you're dealing with a lane like this. <coughs> exactly. It is aggressive. Luckily, Spectre hasn't died, even though there has been a few uh, few okay, deaths right. top for Southampton. Spectre has not been involved in those horrible deaths. It's a nice hero to escape on, isn't it? Unless you've got the stuns, there's just no catching him as he trundles off through the woods. You are quite right, Dan, as usual. Wow, that was a very nice thing of me to say to you. It was. He's, I'm taken aback. Yeah, so am I! <laughs> Almost as shocked as the first game when we were incredibly <coughs> professional for a few minutes and I had to stop oh, and congratulate Action mid, is he going to get it? He's a nice little... That, but Shadow Fiend does not look the happiest. 3k player, bringing it Crystal Maiden uh, stops jungling and decides that um, killing heroes might be a quicker road to uh, winning the game than killing jungle creeps. Alex more than happy to uh, enjoy some delicious experience from that. He's looking for the top room. I think he would really enjoy a bouncy room. Here it comes. There it is. Wow. I feel happy even though I had a 50% chance of getting that right. But with those odds, I was pretty much destined for greatness. I think Ancient Apparition is in trouble here. Wow. He just got blown up. Sven is and just wrecking. They are playing so well in this lane. They clearly know, have a really good grasp of how far they can push the heroes. Yep. And they're doing a lot of work with them. You know what? Bottom is being dominated by Clock as well. He's a level or two ahead, but he's just pushing Slado out constantly. Slado's currently on the on the march back home. He has just picked up his tranquils, which might actually help him out a bit. Clockwork is just no boots at all. such an amazing hero to one v one against melee heroes. They can they can never dodge the rocket flare harass, and it's pretty much impossible for a melee hero to kill clock because the combination of cogs and battery assault means 
You are so hard to chase down. Shadow Fiend in trouble mid once again. He's going to try and get the trade on the um, Crystal Maiden, but unable to. And Alex picks up another kill, and mm, when thinking terrible. about heroes that you do not want to let snowball, PA is up there, right? Oh yeah, it's one of my favourite snowballing heroes, actually, just because the games are so disgusting when he gets ahead. It is just too shutting everyone. The only thing we can say is that there's no ancient stacks yet for TA. So that is a plus, but at the same time... Oh no, we do! We do actually have one stack for Shadow Fiend in this game. Crystal busy. <laughs> busy killing the forest. Crystal Maiden is very busy. And she's already level 5, which is a pretty good effort. She's got a few levels up in the aura to help her team out. We have a rotation coming in on Alexa. He may be solo killing the Shadow Fiend before the rotation can even pay off. And oh, I'm not entirely sure he's going to die here. He may even turn around, and he has turned around. Wow. That makes this is... Two. Exactly what we're talking about. Talking you... of uh, snowballing TAs. <laughs> yeah, you get a little bit of farming TA and, well, things refraction. happen. <laughs> Scary things happen. And I can tell you that uh, TA is one of Alex's favourite heroes, which he's told me about before. There's mid down. Yeah, we're we're looking at I really wish I picked TA. We're looking at hero levels. This AA has just wasted a TP for some reason. Oh, they were trying to plant a ward. That is not the what they want. <laughs> Wasting a TP while trying to plant a ward. Level 3. No boots. Do you think um, Southampton are tilting a bit after losing to the weird Windrunner Clockwork offlane and the Dragon Knight mid? Dyer's Maybe. Dyer's I mean, it's, it's also getting on. And that, that fatigue. Looking for the Maybe LSE are just dealing with the fact that we're, you know, like... LSE students don't get in. to sleep anyway. <laughs> they have to study all night. Oh, kicking off mid. Um, Templar Assassin, you get a couple of levels in Refraction. Tower Diving doesn't mean a thing. There we go. Is... I want to say sad, but I don't think sad's a strong enough word. What have you got for me? Oxford Dictionary are tuning in. Upset. <laughs> Upset? That was better than sad, I'll give you that. Because... Okay. Tusk the is tears. looking to make a rotation top. Here we go. Here Here's the snowball. Can Southampton get a kill? Oh. You would hear the answer is yes, but it's going to be a trade with the Spectre. Spectre wow. for your for Winter Wyvern is not what you're going for. The uh, the massive net worth of AA coming in at a strong 766. No boots yet. Alex is going to casually take mid tower. And there is the blink. And this is a scary time to be alive if you're an ancient apparition. Yeah, AA's got getting the stacks up, but. He needs levels, he needs level 6. What I would like to see is for the uh, Radiant to maybe, maybe scout out some of these stacks because they know that there's going to be stacks coming out for, uh, for the Dead dire. Shadow Fiend again. One hit and two hits. Scary. I hate to say but this is GG. <laughs> if they don't deal with that TA soon, oh. it is over. Um, let's think about what they can do. I mean, Spectre has got the level 6. He can catch up very fast if you start getting a few kills with one. Shadow Fiend is honestly just so far behind. Yep, yeah, that means... they've got no stacks for him is... Look, one. A really two, terrifying... Three one. shots on Slider. Oh, but I guess he is worth a disgusting amount of gold right now. But when you're fighting against a level 4 Tusk, you might not be that scared. No, I mean, he's currently... I mean, oh no. The CM has more net worth than Spectre. Dyer's top towers yep. and beat what down. is really scary with the uh, amount of gold that um, Desolator costs is that Alex is going to have Blink Desolator probably by 15 minutes, potentially even 14. Yeah, there's currently a, a very scared Spectre hiding in the bottom. <laughs> Does not have a TP, and we've got four seconds a until the. Uh, Oh, I missed um, some rocket. more murders. Don't top. worry, here we go. Here the rocket. Oh, oh. Down to four. Come on, camera, stay on at the spectrum. bottom. It doesn't want to stay. Here we go. The best oh. do something about their blink. Why did she blink on. there? That was strange. You know where it is. Oh, oh the courier's arrived. Can he TP? Oh. <laughs> Just to add insult to injury, he wastes the 75 the gold on the teleport scroll. <laughs> that oh, was sad times. A tough life, isn't it? It is, but I'm enjoying this game. <laughs> I mean, this game Sven's uh, destroying Slada on the top. Ben has decided to go for the Mask of Madness instead of um, Helm of Dominator. Any thoughts on that? Manly. 
manly thoughts. Maybe he just thinks we're so Tusk far ahead. Tusk does not want to be there. Tusk has just gone in. Sven's still got gun strength on. That was it. Wow. It's 17-1 at the 12 minute mark. That is a scary world to live in. You say that Shadow Fiend can come back, but... <sighs> I don't know if you're coming back 1800 net worth to 7500 7, on the TA. You're definitely not with the lack of stacks going on. No. I can only assume that what's happened is in the break, um, yeah, LSE realised that the, the first the prize for this tournament no was five times on the seven foes and made five. a five. I thought we were giving them one. It's five. Well, every player on the win team is going to receive an honour seven foe. I genuinely thought they were going to be sharing that, like, you know. Well, Gandhi, and not only are the players going to be getting one each, but one lucky viewer is going to be getting one as well. It could be you. If you're listening right now, you're thinking, it's not going to be me, I never win these things, then maybe it will be. There is a link underneath the, uh, underneath the words, stream, and it says, underneath the words. Underneath the stream. Come on, Gan, it's getting late. I know, mate. If That's why it's saying better. Exclamation uptime, then uh, exclamation. Oh, Jesus Christ. Exclamation, yes. Oh, the one thing I will say about the, the stream currently, we don't actually have that many people registered. You register that you are genuinely with a good chance of winning. Yeah, it's something like a 10% chance of winning right now. If you, um, How far is the Spectre from Radiance? Three days comes the answer from chat. And we said that the only way that Shadow Queen is going to come back in to this game is with stats, and clearly. Uh, LSE think the same because they have begun blocking the camps. Well, that is bottom tower. Part of me thinks they're blocking the camps, part of me thinks they're just waiting to find more kills. Meanwhile, Sven is making movements. Dyer just couldn't save that bottom tower. is just casually farming towers, and I think my estimate of a 15 minute decimator is going to be spot on. I which I would like to say, someone give me a raise. Spectre? No? Shadow friend, the dire best do something Raise? about that bottom tower. Oh wow! Are we here all night. Uh, you <laughs> literally no. Yeah, it seems as though you may well be. <laughs> right, I think I, I can call it. Shadow friend is about to die again. One hit. Oh, three Burn hits this time. Death. Why is he running from the TV coming in? It's cancelled. That was a good shout. And here is the desolator. He's bought it at 14 minutes 30. By the time it gets to him, I reckon it's going to be. Exactly 15 minutes, and I'm going to be so impressed with myself that I don't know. I may, I don't know. I would say eat a biscuit, but I already ate them. <laughs> You'll buy another you know overpriced Max Spencer's biscuit. They're Waitrose Gang. Waitrose. Please. Sorry. Hello. I, thought, I wanted it to be Spa, but. We don't, we don't 53. deal with Spa here in Georgia. 1453. Oh, pretty good. I'm an pretty oh, and we may be seeing a kill here for the dial, nope. but no. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> Crystal Maiden kills the Spectre. Things that you don't say very often. Dial taking a fight that almost doubled their kills. <laughs> 21 to 1. Mm -hmm. This is probably the very yeah, definition of stump. I'll tell you tower. what, there is one exciting possibility in this game. Is that the score could end up being 3 2 2. I think it's a fair possibility that we we'll get to the 3 2 2. Nice. But uh, news just in Oxford has said, the Oxford Dictionary said they're going to put this video in its entirety under Ruffle Stomp. So. Really? <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. Video of the year for this one. Crystal Maiden has decided, you know, I'm pretty rich, I'm gonna start building an Agonims. Because <laughs> that's what Crystal Maidens do at 15 minutes. <laughs> Indeed. Oh, someone is typing exclamation drop. What are they after? What do they want to drop? They want the beats to drop. Oh, and there's Big the Crystal Maiden. Shadow Fiend, we say goodbye to you. You know it's not what we want. Yeah. Just going in for solo kills. I mean, like, your support is just walking up to your mid here. Really, I, think I kills. expect the words GG to be written on the screen mm -hmm. any second now. It's difficult to stay positive. He's typed in exclamation free money. That is optimistic to say the least. I like to think that our stream is printing money. But, uh, we do print money because there's so many viewers, so much ads. content. Don't talk to me about oh, ads. Wow. I'm not about the ads. This is mayhem. Impressive. Um, 
GG, there it is. GG. Extremely dominating performance from LSE in game three. Yeah. They got gradually better throughout the series. Congratulations to them. They will be proceeding to the quarterfinals of the tournament. Congratulations. My, uh, my commiserations to Southampton, who put up a very good performance in uh, in uh, game one and did Sven build a glimmer?